They need another point guard. You're going to be watching all the all the basketball for for the Olympics. Now you're so into soccer. You're going to watch the Olympic soccer. Oh my goodness! So soccer is the coolest thing ever yeah. over in the Olympics, Phil. So it's 25 and under on the roster, and so there's there's talk Messi might be on the Argentina team. So it's 25 and under, but you get three guys that are above 25. It's it's the weird. That's what I thought basketball would go to, but they don't. But soccer's different how, how they do it, especially you think of Brazil, you think of Spain, you think of some of these the, the talent-enriched programs, but they do it a little different. <laughs> I'm rem- Jeremiah texted in, and I knew this because of the story that came out recently that Edie didn't get um, NIL money unless it was for Canadian companies because of American law wouldn't allow it. Oh, he's, he's Canadian. Canadian. That's right. Yeah, he's going to be on Team Canada. Yeah, you, that's a good team with Andrew, Andrew Wiggins, uh, your boy from Oklahoma City that everybody likes, Shea, Shea Gilders, who's another Kentucky cat. Um, so, yeah, Canada, they, they got it going on. And, and they, I don't think they can bring, bring Steve Nash out of, uh, out of retirement, so that, 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 that might hurt him a I'll little bit. I'll bet you he could still play. I bet he's probably still Canada's best point guard, yeah. Is he on the same – is he, like, doing the Jake Plummer thing these days? Oh, you know, he was on a, he was on a, a scene of entourage. Uh-huh. He's kind of been acting. He was coaching. I think he's going a little different. He, I'm not saying he might not be into it, but not like growing mushrooms. Yeah. I don't know if he's painting his fingernails and, and, and getting all grateful dead with them. Uh, it would, I would get, kind of put him in the same boat, I guess. I don't know. Well, you got a former cat that's committed to Arkansas. Did you see that? Zvonimir Ivicic. We're going to have to practice that a little bit. I, now I kept calling him big Z. Recently, so and I think remember yeah. for the the Cavs, yeah, Zildrunas, Zildrunas Zagalskis. That's right. Uh, Z- I mean, I was calling him Big Z because that's what I heard uh, Cal referring to him as um, when he, you know, they were trying to advocate for him to be able to uh, enroll and get his waiver from the NCAA, and it didn't happen until I think late December. I think he might have played a game before the SEC schedule started, but that was right about the time that he was cleared is that it was just Big Z. And I didn't really, I didn't know if I'd have to really get to know his name or not. And now it turns out you do. Zvonimir Ivicic. All of seven foot two. Going to be your center, Matt. You got a big man now. You got a big man. Cal loves the big mans. And uh, as of yesterday, uh, the two big men that were in the portal from Kentucky are, have now chosen their schools. Aaron Bradshaw taking uh, Ohio State, and the Razorbacks get Zvonimir Ivicic. I'll bet you Chuck, now we've got Chuck Barrett in about, what, 10 minutes or so? I'll bet you Chuck's got that down he's already. already. He's already yeah. got it it's down. It's actually not that difficult of a name. It's just, it's um, it's intimidating when you first look at it, and then you get used to it. Zvonimir Ivicic, not that tough. Now, when you have the the sheet for baseball, and I'm assuming Chuck for basketball, is it is it outside of uh, the name? Is it spelled phonetically? So then you can kind of help because that's what if I see it phonetically, then it helps kind of. Oh, now I know how to pronounce. They it. They do that for you. Yeah, okay. not every school will do this, but they'll do that for you at Arkansas. And every once in a while, there's a, there's a guy who should have his name on the pronunciation guide, and it's not. Who was the um the in the in the baseball series this last weekend um. Alabama's catcher Matt Cassetti took a, I think it was a pitch that he blocked off his throat. I thought it hit something else. It hit his throat. He had to leave the game. He was replaced by somebody that when I first saw his name, I shook my head because I didn't want to say it because I didn't think I was going to do it proper justice. You want to say somebody's name properly, and I know I don't do it 100% all the time, but I just kind of, they didn't have the, he, he, they didn't have the, the, the guide there. Either that or tell you what it was. They did have the guide on the roster, but as you and I were just talking before we went on the air, it's really too small. Mm. I wasn't really able to. Mm. I would have to get, like, right up against the, the glass to be able to see where I taped it up. Guangarena was his name. And it's almost like I could... It, it, you, you could take a last name that's got two Gs in it and take it in all sorts of different directions, but I think I got it right. Ivisic. Ivisic. Sounds Eastern European bloc. Uh, you know, Croatian. That's what I'm saying. The Croatian national team, uh, Luka Modric, who is the last Croatian to win the Ballon d'Or. Uh, he's a Re- Real Madrid midfielder right now. I mean, just he's a Galactico uh, at, at the highest quality. Well, I could try to say um, the um, Zivonimir's, I'm going to call him Big Z every once in a while. Z. Now, here's the other thing, too. You got a Z on the radio broadcast already. Yeah. That's Zim. You got a Big Z. I don't. You, you can't go with little Z in this case. That's not. That's not proper. Plus, Gen- plus Zim is, is is a badass, so you can't 
not going to go little. Ginger Z, you know. Oh, yeah. Coach Z's the man. Yeah, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, I, I know who you mean. She's the what is she the ABC uh, ABC Morning Show uh, weather weather person? Ginger Spice, maybe. Ginger but, Z, yeah. pretty sure. Yeah, pretty sure that's that's a real person's name. Um, hey, that's a great get. There's more. There's more coming. You're it's, just gonna get one of them. Excited that we we've been talking Phil the last since since this has happened, and the one thing that I'm excited about is the talent that's gonna come in. The athletes. I mean. Coach Calipari, just look at the last 20 years. Don't even just look. You can look at Kentucky if you want to, but look at UMass. Look at me. Everywhere he goes, he has dudes. He has athletes. It, it's going to be fun. Well, and I just I kind of wonder, this was the first one. It's like the first little spring in the dam, and what breaks the rest of it? There's going to be more. This could be, yeah, last week was really interesting because of everything that went along with the coaching change and the press conference and the – and the big celebration and everything. Now the team maybe starts to come together this week. I'm not saying you're going to get a full, you know, 12 or 13 players coming to you this week, but maybe you start to get, you know, your dudes. It it, it takes one. The, the other thing that uh, we were talking about before the show started, uh, if if Joe Johnson really is going to be on staff. Well, there are rumors. I saw Kevin McPherson tweet this earlier today that Joe Johnson may end up on staff. You talk about a guy that that did it the right way, uh, supremely talented, uh, would be would be great to just to to glean from, just to know how he watches film, just to just to be able to ask questions to, uh, and and just the amount of information he has, just to being around him, just trying to soak some of that up. Man, I mean, it's like you need another recruiting tool with a, <laughs> with the way that Cal recruits, but think about how long did. Did Joe play in the NBA? 20 years. Exactly. Yeah, now, yeah. It's how difficult is it to stick around that long? The guy knows everything that it's about to play in that league. I mean, everything. That's another recruiting tool right there for you and somebody who knows all of what it's like to be a Razorback, all of what it's like to root to grow up rooting for him. Man, I mean, and and people are like, oh, look, Joe's at the – Shows at the event. What's he doing here? Maybe, maybe he had that in mind when he showed up. When if you're a if you're a basketball player, a high school kid, and Joe Johnson calls you, I, I think that has to carry a little weight. That's that's what I talked about with Deion Sanders being the 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 Colorado head coach. When when Deion Sanders calls you, you, you listen. If if Joe Johnson's calling you, saying we, I mean, it, you kind of perk up a little bit. So Cal, Cal talks about the second contract. How many contracts did Joe get? Six. Un seven, it's like unlimited. Seven like left, yeah. uh, left, up, right, down, up. Yeah. Infinity. The infinity sign is the number of contracts, I think. That's great. Hey, halftime today is going to be a lot of fun, you know, as opposed to yesterday, which obviously was no fun. Uh, we've got Bill King joining us, hour number three from Nashville Sports Radio. He doesn't, I know, now it's funny how yesterday we talked with Connor O'Gara. He watched all the spring game, or at least the highlights of each spring game. <laughs> how many of those plays do you think Bill watched? Zero. He doesn't watch the spring game stuff. There's the the thing to watch the spring game and, and what we talked about is you just want to see how fluid they are. You want to see movement. You want to see reaction. You want to see you want to see plays because that you're just looking at the athletes. You know, you want to see how they move about it. The numbers necessarily feel they don't they don't mean a whole lot. Uh numbers from a spring game. Well, the numbers on the back of the jersey, I think, is what you're trying to memorize in some cases. I don't, I don't know what these what numbers they're wearing right now. Well, you don't. The, in, when freshmen come in, uh, they're, they're a number until they make a play. That's just how it is. When when you're a freshman, when you're a, now it's different because you're newcomers coming in for people that have made plays before. Uh, but when you come in, uh, stay humble, get to work. Uh, especially when you're a freshman, you're an underclassman. Follow, follow what the vets do and and, and keep working. Uh, but you're a number. You're a number until you make a play on Saturday. Well, you brought up the Olympics earlier as we started the show here, and Alyssa Orange will be with us. Hour number two. She's in New York uh, with uh, the whole, um, you know, crew from Next Star that's going to be covering the Olympics. She's obviously one of them. So we'll dig into that with her and uh, and Chuck Barrett in just a moment on halftime. So uh, lots lots going on. Uh, maybe just maybe there might be more. Uh, commitments during the uh, morning or the afternoon for this basketball team. The football portal seems to be pretty darn active as well uh, with Isaiah Augustive and Jacoby Criswell entering the portal. I saw Whitey Herzog died earlier today, age 94. Uh, one of the, one of the great managers uh, of, of my youth. Heck, he was managing when I was just before, just before I was born, but 
There was a very specific kind of baseball that Whitey managed that made it a heck of a lot of fun to watch. And I know how many Cardinal fans are out there listening. You were around in the 80s. Uh, you, you probably loved Whitey Herzog. So we'll get into that as well. Stay tuned. Chuck Barrett, the voice of the Razorbacks, jo- joins halftime right after this. This is halftime. ESPN Arkansas and HitThatLine.com is looking for a part-time producer in Fort Smith, Arkansas. We're looking for someone with radio experience. Can start working 20 to 30 hours a week with a chance to grow full-time based on performance. Tasks include running the board, working with NextGen, checking logs, and more. If you have radio experience and you're interested, email me at ty.richardson at HitThatLine.com. That's ty.richardson at HitThatLine.com. Get 2.9% financing for 72 months on a GMC Sierra Crew Cab at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Choose from 2.7 or 5.3 liter Sierra Crew Cabs this month and get 2.9% for 72. Or get up to $6,500 in factory rebates on select 2024 GMC Sierra trucks. Conquer with confidence in a new GMC from Harry Robinson Buick GMC. We are professional grade. Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster and in the past decade as a roofing contractor. He knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. It's spring cleaning sell time at Chelco Outdoors. Savings from 50 to 75% off on select clothing, footwear, hunting and fishing equipment, casual clothing, hunting clothing, work clothing for men, women, and children. Work boots, safety shoes, western boots, all 50 to 75% off. Rods, rails, baits, hunting equipment, all 50 to 75% off. Select group of handguns, rifles, and shotguns in the firearms department at cost or below. Don't miss the big spring cleaning sale at Jelco Outdoors in Fort Smith. Do you need gutters but think they're too expensive or that you need to get the soffit or fascia ready? No worries. Call the gutter guy. He does it all. No need to call multiple companies to get the right gutters for your home. Call the gutter guy. Quality, low-maintenance, leaf-free gutters with a five-year warranty. The gutter guy also does vinyl siding and windows. The gutter guy. Over 30 years experience. Call 226-1259. Call the gutter guy. If you've lived in the River Valley for a while, you know about the great reputation of Jam Mart. And their newest location at 6201 Grand Avenue in Fort Smith is open. Stop by for coffee, gas, beer, snacks, ices, and a clean restroom every time. Don't forget about the hot deli and fresh made burgers. Now seven locations in Fort Smith, Greenwood, Boonville, Ozark, and Danville. Sign up for their loyalty program for discounts throughout the stores. Jam Mart, the leading convenience store and gas station in the region. Flu vaccines, both regular and high dose for seniors, are now available at Law's Drug Store in Fort Smith. Call 452-6116 to schedule your shot appointment. Usually there is no cost when covered by your insurance. Law's Drug has COVID vaccines, RSV vaccines for ages 60 plus, pneumonia and tetanus shots are also available. Law's Drug Store, 6802 Rogers Avenue behind Outback Steakhouse. Law's Drug Store, open six days a week to safely care for you and your family. Hi folks, Larry Rath here for Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where it's spring cleaning time. The lot is blooming with fresh road ready certified inventory and weekly specials that could save you up to $4,000. If you're keeping the car you have, let us take care of it for you in the Meineke Car Care Center with half off brakes and buy three, get one free on all tires. Better yet, trade today and save up to $4,000 during spring cleaning at Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where all the happiest drivers are rolling with Rath. Just north of Phoenix on Towson, Fort Smith. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN He stood there bright as the sun on that California coast. He was a Midwestern boy on his own. 
She looked at him with those soft eyes so innocent and blue. He knew right then he was too far from home. Find halftime on 99.5 in Northwest Arkansas, 95.3 in Fort Smith in the River Valley, 96.3 in Hot Springs in Central Arkansas, 104.3 in Harrison and Mountain Home, and everywhere on HitThatLine.com. Join the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to the hosts. Here's Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Always enjoy Tuesday morning visits with the voice of the Razorbacks, Chuck Barrett, here on Halftime. We've got, a, uh, got him on the McClarty Daniel Hotline today. Chuck, good morning. How are you? Well, I'm doing well. Hope you guys are, too. Doing real good, man. Real good. Got a lot to get to here. There's spring game. You got your first commit to Coach Cal. But I, w- I want to bring up uh, Whitey Herzog first here because I know you grew up a Cardinals fan, as I think a lot of our listeners did here. And, um, you know, he passes away at age 94. and I mean, he was a dominant personality in the game of baseball for a long, long time. I had not heard Whitey's name in a while, um, and I wish it wasn't in death. Yeah, I was up there a few years ago, and it just happened to be on a weekend when they were honoring Whitey for something, and uh, he was back there. And it was just really cool to you know, be in the same, as corny as it sounds, just be in the same stadium uh, and see Whitey again because – you know, for those of us who are old enough to remember and kind of came of age, I mean, he was baseball. I mean, everything he said about baseball was just the way it was. I mean, Whitey said this. Well, Whitey always said, well, Whitey says, I mean, that's just that's how you played the game. And, you know, I was 19 when they won the world championship in 82. And the one that they'd won before that was in 68, and I was five, and I didn't remember it. Uh, but I remember the futility of the 70s, and Whitey came in. The first thing he did was trade Ted Simmons. I mean, he broke my heart. Um, but they got Daryl Porter and Pete Vukovic, and he ended up trading Gary Templeton for Ozzy. He had the full run of the organization. That's back when they actually had an organization run by baseball people. <laughs> but, um, you know, he just revamped the club, and away they went. And I can – I can still see Bruce Suter striking out Gorman Thomas and Daryl Porter jumping up in the air right where I was uh, because it was the first one of my lifetime, and there have been more. But, you know, for people my age, um, the Whitey Herzog eras or the Whitey Herzog era and the Tony La Russa era, um, you know, you look at the way the franchise is run now, I don't know that we'll ever see their likes again. And Whitey was just um, – I mean, again, I mean, if you were a Cardinal fan, he, he was baseball. Yeah, and and uh, I can I can second Whitey said this, Whitey said that, because when I worked at the Travelers, Bill Valentine said that all the time. And he got to know Whitey really well because they were, they were an affiliate for all those years. So uh, Whitey ball, speed, contact, uh, putting guys in motion, maybe a power hitter, one maybe somewhere in the middle of the lineup. It was a really – it was a fun brand of baseball, and it's not really the brand of baseball they play right now. Well, you've got to remember, too, that we were a nation in the 70s that was fascinated by AstroTurf. As a sporting public, we were fascinated by it. You know, the, 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 the Houston Astrodome was, you know, I mean, we were less than you know, 20 years removed from that being constructed. And we were fascinated by AstroTurf. And every ballpark in the National League looked the same had similar dimensions, and had AstroTurf. And you built your game around beating that ball into the ground and taking off. And um, they played it better than anybody. Yeah, you got you got ideas about AstroTurf too, right, Matt? Well, you know, when you have Vince Coleman and Willie McGee, you, you got to run, right? Like you, That's you, right. Yeah, yeah. That's, I mean, he, he, he built the team around the game, was how the game was played at that time. You could not do that now. You can't beat the ball into a uh, um, into you know a grass infield when you know it's 365 to the alleys. I mean, you don't play that game anymore. So, uh, but that's the way the game was played then, and he did it better than anybody. 
Speaking of people that was just playing a great game, he was just on fire. I, I don't know how much of the Masters you watched, Chuck. Uh, I watched the final round, and, and, and Scotty Scheffler, he reminded me uh, when Rory McIlroy won at Quail Hollow a few years back, when he was just out driving everybody, position A, uh, just his iron game. I mean, just he did not have a weakness, it seemed like, uh, all, all week and was the only one. It, it, was, it was fun to watch. Well, and he won it with a putter. I mean, he really did. And you always wonder with a putter, but that seems to be especially true there. Um, you know, the undulation of the greens there, the speed of the greens, um, it's definitely for a professional golfer. And I thought that was where he was uh, – I thought that was where he was brilliant. I mean, he's uh, um, he's won two Masters in five tournaments. Mm. Um, you know, he may own that place like few others. I mean, who knows? Um Lots of things can happen over the course of a career, but he's um, he's the best out there right now, that's for sure. Those who know the game that I've talked to, those who really know the game, um, say he's the best ball striker since Tiger. You know, that no one's hit the ball, and I'm not saying Stricker, or, uh, um, um, he does, but I, I'm saying that the people that follow the game say that um, – he strikes the ball better than anyone since Tiger. But yeah, he was he was great all weekend. Uh well let's uh have you practiced have you practiced Zvonimir Ivisic very much? Did he play Zvonimir, against Arkansas? Yeah, Zvonimir Ivisic. I practiced it that last uh, that, that was uh, smooth right there. Well it is yeah. smooth. And uh, you can tell I practiced it before the game. <laughs> I'm not sure that's exactly right, but that's what I'm going with. And uh, if you say it the same way every time, sounds like you know what you're talking about. So, Zamana, uh, Zavonimir Ivisic is uh, the way uh, is is the way it was told to me that night when we played him. Chuck, I don't know if I'm I'm more excited to see him uh, come over on a help side and, and and block a shot, or to to see him catch a oop and 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 swing on the rim for a second. He can play all over the floor. Um, you know, he is a uh, classic European big man who can run the floor, handle the ball, shoot, pass, and dribble. Uh, he can do all those things. Uh, but he can also go down low. And when you're 7'2", you've just got a lot of natural built-in advantages there. So, you know, he's, uh, he's still learning the game. Uh, at least he's still learning the way we play the game. And, you know, there were points last year at Kentucky he was just off the charts. And there were some games where, he, you know, he, he really wasn't that big a factor. But – you know, again, he only played half the year. So his best days are in front of him. He's he's going to play in the NBA. I mean, I don't know if he'll be here more than a year. But, um, yeah, that's exciting to get a player like that. Hey, I, I do want to ask you about a guy that, that's going to Texas. And Tremont Mark, I thought, if you were just looking at it, I thought he was our, our best player on, on the team last year that, that could do everything as far as offense, defense, everything. It's it's going to kind of be, be an L. I'm, I'm going to be pulling for him. Uh, how, how do you think he'll do at Texas? And do you think, Coach Cow, is there anybody from last year's roster that will be on this this year, this next year's team? Well, let me talk about Tremont Mark first. I think Tremont Mark's a complimentary player. I don't think, and I'm just going to be honest here, um, I don't think Tremont Mark can be the best player on a Final Four team. I think he can be an integral part of a Final Four team, but I don't think he can be the best player on that team. I don't think he's that good enough. I think he's a really good player. I mean, a really, really good college player. But if he's your best player, I doubt you're going to the Final Four. And I think he'll do well at Texas because I don't know that he's going to have to go down there and be their best player. I think we'll see a similar player to what we saw at Houston. A very, very good complimentary player. Better than average, well above average in terms of complimentary players. But he can't be the guy. He just can't be. What what about what about anybody else to come back to a battle? Uh, All right, Evo? yeah, that that I, I keep and look, I, I'm just speaking off the top of my head, but um, I just wonder what's going to happen with Debo. Um, I think uh, I I think Lawson Blake will be back, one of the walk-ons. I I don't know what's going to happen with Bayfall. Um, I'm not sure. I just don't know, and I don't know what's going to happen with Debo, but. Um, I hope maybe there's a possibility there. That, that's just a personal feeling and just a personal opinion, I guess, would be the better way to put it. 
that that may not be the direction they go. I have no idea. And there's going to be an upgrade in talent like we've never seen. Unprecedented in terms of Razorback basketball. And you know, I don't know how he or if he fits into all that. But I still, there's a part of me, a big part of me, quite honestly, that believes he needs to be a Razorback. Not just for now, but for 10, 20, 30 years from now. I believe that. And I don't know if it'll work out or not, but in the back of my mind, I, I, I do hope there's a way it can. Defense travels, and that's the thing. And he's an elite defender, and, and I'm with you. I think he's a future uh, Arkansas Sports Hall of Famer. Uh, I, I would love to see him come back. Blocker's another one, uh, I, and, and you don't know. You don't know what Coach Cal's thinking because you're, you're right. I mean, the talent uptick, I mean, everybody's going to be able to play. Well, you're right. I think it's important, and I've always believed this, when you've got a new leader, I don't care if it's a new business, new whatever, new boss at work, whatever, it's incumbent upon you to reach out to them. There's nobody out there that's so irreplaceable that they can say, oh, I'd like to stay, but I want him to come to me. It's very important at times like this that, if you want to be part of it, you need to reach out and say so. If you're waiting on a Hall of Fame coach to come to you, it's probably going to be a long wait. It's an interesting conversation to look at, too, and it's almost like in reverse of some of the things that we've brought up. When a player commits, are you play, committing to a school or are you committing to a coach? Well, it can be the same idea of going into the transfer portal. Are you leaving that team because of the coach? You know, I mean, I, and quite honestly, when I, 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 I'm not saying this to like throw blame around or anything or, or throw muss un, under the bus or anything like that. But I think that's a reason why players leave when you get a new coach that's coming in. I mean, it's going to be up to Cal whether or not he wants Devo if he does reach out. But I guess in that case, I'd be surprised if Devo did not reach out. Well, I, I, would, I would be surprised, too, frankly. Um, but. You know, I don't know all the inner workings there. I have I have no idea. This is going to be new for everybody. And there is going to be an influx of talent. That is unprecedented. That, that is not an overstatement. And we've seen the first one, and it's not going to be the last. Um, there's going to be a lot more. And everything that happens, I think, is going to excite people even more. And that's I think that's what we're in for for the next few months. But... Um, uh, you know, they're talking about committing to a school or a coach. I'll give you an example. Um, Devo committed to the University of Arkansas. Reed Shepard committed to the University of Kentucky. Josh Cohen committed to Eric Musselman. Yep. Um, you know, um, Ivicevic, if he committed Ivicevic to, committed Cal, to Cal. So, uh, I mean, every situation's different. I don't know that there's a hard and fast rule. Your logic would tell you that it would make more or the make make the most sense to say, well, in-state kids commit to the school, out-of-state kids commit to the coach. I don't know if that's true all the time or not. You know, um, it's a different world now. Hey, let's uh, take a phone call from Brian in Ozark, and then we will hit a break. Brian is on the McClarty Daniel hotline, and you got Chuck Barrett here too. Brian, go on, go on. Hey. What's up? What's going on? I want to make a comment about Trayvon Mark still in Texas. Shoot. You know, he's, he's also teaming up with two highly profile kids from Indiana State that are coming from playing for the NIT championship. So, uh, Trayvon Marks isn't going to be the player. A guy by the name of, a kid by the name of Trey Johnson was the number one recruit in 2024. Five star coming out of Dallas will probably be the, the man at Texas, as well as that other five star kid. I think Trayvon Marks is going to be a beast at Texas, and I think he'll do very well. I'll just hang up and listen. All right. Well, I think he will, too. Don't don't misunderstand what I said a minute ago. I think he'll do well at Texas because he will not be called upon to be their best player. And he's in the SEC. That's what I forget. Oh, yeah. You know, oh, it's yeah. like Arkansas is going to get we'll to play. play. That How yeah. cool is that, right? Yeah. I don't know what the schedule looks like yet, but I have a sense. Will we play them, you think, twice or one? I was kind of yeah. wondering if yeah. they might do that. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. I, I've, I have no idea what they're thinking. 
you got to play Kentucky twice now, so I mean, <laughs> you've only got so many games. That's but right. I would, I, I would imagine there will be some years where they do. Yeah. Our McClarty Daniel Hotline is open if you want to call or text eight seven seven three seven seven sixty nine sixty three. The voice of the Razorbacks, Chuck Barrett, with us for an, another segment, and we will be right back. This is halftime. You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Listen anytime and anywhere on your favorite mobile device. Just search Hit That Line now. It started as a dream, and here you are. It's moving day. But wait, isn't moving supposed to be stressful? Oh, that's right. You bought your home using Weikert Realtors. Your Weikert agent guided you from start to finish to help make sure we found you your perfect place. Dream. Move. Home Weikert. Call your local Weikert Realtors office today and make your move. And look for our bright yellow signs. At Weikert Realtors, we sell more because we do more. Each Weikert franchised office is independently owned and operated. Arkansas, we have heard you loud and clear. That's right, over 300 in stock heavy duty ready for delivery. And now Ram has lowered the MSRP on their heavy duty trucks up to $10,000. That's right, and Red River has offered up to another $10,000 off. Folks, you won't find a better deal anywhere else in the state than right here. No one's going to give you a better deal during Ram Truck Month. So make that beautiful drive right here to Heber Springs. Or check us out on the web at redriverdodge.com. And at Red River, we, we deliver. deliver. You're listening to Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Crabtree RV Center, where RVing is life. The best selection of RVs is now even better at Wheels RV in Springdale. Wheels RV has added Brinkley RVs to the already loaded lineup of Grand Design and Forest River products. See the Brinkley Model Z, the latest innovation in luxury fifth wheels. And like always, every new RV comes with a lifetime warranty so you can camp with confidence. So stop in and find out why Wheels has been voted best RV dealer year after year. Wheels RV, five miles west of exit 72 off of I-49 in Springdale. Seek, explore, discover with Wheels RV. Colorworks Paint and Body in Barling offers professional automotive painting, bodywork, and fabrication that is unsurpassed in talent and dedication. Owner Andy Harrod uses the latest in collision repair technology to ensure all damage is addressed, whether it's visible or hidden, and works with all insurance companies. Andy and his crew have the experience and commitment to give you complete trust in the repair of your vehicle, no matter the size of the job. Colorworks is located at 1206 Fort Street in Barling, across from Dollar General, and is on Facebook where you can check out their work. You will never find a boring old burger at Art's Barbecue and Burgers in Fort Smith. Try the Wild West Burger, topped with a hot link, jalapenos, and Art's Hot Sauce. The Brisket Burger, with tender brisket and caramelized onions, on top of their hand patted burger. Or the famous Art Attack, with house bacon, smoked ham, and onion ring in a fried egg. There are 10 different burgers to choose from, and they're all $1 off every Saturday. Art's Barbecue Burgers and more. Rogers Avenue, next to Buddy's in Fort Smith. Clogs? Nobody wants a clog. West Art Plumbing knows that clogs are a serious issue. They can signal that bigger problems are on the way. So contact West Art Plumbing while the problem is small. Slow shower and sink drains, gurgling toilets and outside cleanouts making a mess? Call 479-646-5151 today. West Art Plumbing and expert drain cleaning since 1993. They keep you flowing. If you have slow drains or high water bills, call West Art Plumbing and expert drain cleaning service. 646-5151. Looking for a change? For a limited time, we're offering up to a $15,000 hiring bonus and a $3,000 referral bonus for maintenance techs, including electricians and refrigeration techs. Ask a friend who works at Simmons for more information, and you can both win. Simmons offers vacation matching, a 401k plan, and premium health care for team members and their families through our care clinics at no additional cost. Learn more at workatsimmons.com or stop by the Fort Smith City Hiring Center at 4900 Rogers Avenue, Suite 103 in Fort Smith. Find out more about the $15,000 hiring bonus and start getting paid sooner with same-day hiring options. We look forward to seeing you. Before you buy that next car or truck, stop by Broadway Motors in Van Buren. The best of the best for two straight years. Michael and his team offer the best prices on the best quality pre-owned vehicles in the River Valley. They invite you to stop by and check it out for yourself. Or if you prefer to check out their inventory online or even do your financing online. Michael has built his reputation as a husband, father, and owner-operator since 2006. Broadway Motors, 806 Broadway in Van Buren or online at broadwaymotorsar.com. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 
You're listening to Halftime with Bill Elson and Matt Jones. Want to jump in the conversation? Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now, here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. And the voice of the Razorbacks, Chuck Barrett, with us for another segment. Uh, you can get on the horn and talk with him or us. Um, and we got Terry from Alma right now with us on hold, who's on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Terry, thanks for calling halftime. What's going on? Hey, how are you doing today? Good, thank you. Well, the first time I fell with players, uh, went to Arkansas. And uh, from my sources, I think Knox is going to be the next one in the next couple of days to sign with Arkansas. And I'm just wondering who y'all think will be the ones following them. I'll hang up with us, guys. Y'all have a great day. Oh, uh, I was going to ask Terry for uh, the, the phone number of his source. Because that's who I was going to call to. <laughs> well, I suspect that all the names that we've heard are in play. I would just say that. I, my my suspicion is that all those names are in play. Yeah. Um. I don't. I don't. I don't go doing the digging and everything. I just know that if they were committed to Cal at Kentucky, there is a pretty good chance they're going to be committed to Cal at Arkansas. That happened when he moved from Memphis to uh to UK. I know. Didn't, uh, I, I read it. I read about it. John Wall was committed to him at Memphis. DeMarcus Cousins was committed to him at Memphis. Where do they play? They played at Kentucky. Hey, Chuck. It's going to be interesting to see. I mean, it is going to be, and I, I, I don't know where all these guys are going to end up. I mean, as I say, I, I suspect all, I suspect strongly that all of them are in play, but regardless of who they are, um, you know, I'll say what I said earlier. We are about to see an unprecedented influx of talent. Chuck, I was looking at this. Grant Hill's roster came out for the Paris 2024 Olympics, and, and I think they're they're leaving one slot open right now. And, and I'll, I'll tell you the names real quick. LeBron James, Steph Curry, Joel Embiid, Anthony Davis, Devin Booker, Anthony Edwards, Jason Tatum, Drew Holiday, Bam Adebayo, Tyrese Halberton, and Kevin Durant. And all, all yes, yes to all those guys. The one thing that I would go for at, is a true point guard, whether it be Jalen Brunson, Dame Lillard. I know you're a Knicks fan. You think I think Jalen Brunson's ready. You think he's ready to be an Olympic point guard? Well, I think he'd be good on that team, yeah. But I think either one of those guys would be great on that team. The thing that I would hope would be that um, your roster is you, – you, you've got a blend of young guys and old guys. Um you know, you're talking about some of the names that you threw out there are, are really veteran guys. Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. But as we've seen, I mean, nothing's guaranteed in basketball when you get to the Olympics anymore. I mean, there are great European teams out there. Great. You look at the guys that dominate in the NBA. I mean, there's more than just a few that play for other nations in the Olympics. So, it's very competitive, and um, I just want to make sure, or I say I just want to make sure, I hope they make certain, and I'm sure they will, that they've got enough guys out there that can give them all the minutes that they need. Um, and, um, you know, it, it, it really means something to them. Chuck, I listened a little bit to the uh, to the Saturday spring uh, football broadcast as I was getting ready for the baseball game in Tuscaloosa. And man, I mean, it sounded, sounded like it was impressive. Um, you know, but it, it's, it, I know, I know spring games are scripted. This one was scripted. You know, they're, they're meant to serve a purpose to kind of show what you've been doing during spring ball. Um, what stood out to you? Well, the quarterback did, um, I, that, that was the thing that I came to see. I mean, I'll be honest. I wanted to see how the offensive line did. And um, I thought I think the offensive line's better. Now we'll begin to get an idea when we see them go good on good, so to speak, which you'll do when the season starts. And uh, we didn't see quite so much of that on Saturday, but I know they feel like they've got a chance to be a lot better. Um, you know, when you look at the offense right now, the two tackles, the center, and the quarterback, um, they feel like they've gotten appreciably better. Um, at the tackle spots and um, at the quarterback position particularly. They weren't bad at center last year. I'm not suggesting that. Nichols is a good player, but they had a pretty good center last year. Um, they're not um, 
you know, they're 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 not set on their depth, and I think that's one of the things we're going to see uh, through the portal. I think they'd like to get two more linemen. I think they'd like to get a guard and a tackle uh, on the offensive line. I think I think they'd like to get a few backups on the defensive line too, a couple if they can. But um, that stood out to me. Taylor Green is the real deal at quarterback. Um, he's um, he's going to be the leader of the football team, and I'm anxious to see him play in real games. I'm anxious to see them you know, when they unveil it against UAPB, but more than anything when they go to Stillwater and play Oklahoma State. Hey, Chuck, uh, did you see any speed, anybody flash some speed, whether it be on the defensive side or, 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 the, or, or the offensive side, any explosive plays? Oh, there were, you know, not not so much. It was, um, you know, Jordan Anthony's a fast guy. They've, uh, you know, they had him on a couple of kickoff returns. Um, I think if, you know, Anthony's that guy that if he could maybe be that sixth receiver, you know, when he talks mm -hmm. about when Pittman says we might like to go get another receiver, I, I think he's talking about that sixth spot. Um, you know, Anthony's one of those guys. Satania's, I think Satania's got a chance to thrive with some of these underneath routes, these drag routes that Petrino loves. Um, you know, it was not a game where you had an abundance of breakaway plays. And I'll cite Jaquindon Jackson as an example. Not necessarily a breakaway guy, but, man, I mean, you walked away from that scrimmage thinking that dude's a football player now. You know, between the tackles, screen pass, cutting back, scoring – He's not going to outrun anybody, I don't think, on like a 75-yard run. You get the angle on him, you'll get him. But um, I think he's really solid. I think he's really good. You, you remember Ronnie Brown at Auburn? I do. That's who I, I think of. I saw he, I seen Jackson play at Utah, kind of kind of that type of back, and he's a complimentary back because he had Cadillac Williams with him. If you give somebody, and you and I think you have to have two or three backs, and I think Arkansas. Chuck, does. the thing that stood out when I was the, the piece I was listening, you were detailing how he. I didn't realize he was a quarterback at Texas, and yeah, that, he, and yeah. he doesn't run like a run like you picture that he would be like running away from everybody. He's like kind of good with contact. He's yeah, he's fine with it. I he's mean, tough. he was uh, he went to Texas as a freshman, redshirted as a quarterback, went to Utah, saw his first action at Utah as a quarterback, and uh, played a little running back, and then they moved him to running back full time. So um, he's an athlete, and more than anything, and Matt, I think you'll appreciate this. He sees everything. He sees the game through the eyes of a quarterback, mm -hmm. and I think that's important. You know, being an old quarterback myself, you know, I, that's it. I think that's it. You know, being the all-time quarterback in a game with that's, my well, eight-year-old cousins, I think that's important. Well, well, it does. I think of a guy like George Wilson, Chuck, that that, I, that was a teammate of mine who who was a receiver in college, then then goes on to the NFL and plays eight years as a safety. You know, it's just all 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 pro safety. That's kind of what that makes me think of, uh, Jakinan Jackson, being an athlete, just being a natural athlete. He's a football player. He's kind of like you, Matt, seriously. I, I mean, you know, pick your spot, put him there, and he'll be productive. Take a phone call from Juwan in Fayetteville, and then we'll uh, we'll hit the break and uh, say good afternoon to Chuck. Hey, Juwan, you're on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. What's going on? Yeah, you said it was um, I watched the spring game the other day, and I've seen a lot of good things. It's like all the wide receivers have improved. But I've also watched all spring practice and read some spring reports. And I realized that Taylor Green was going against the twos on uh, Saturday. He wasn't going against the ones. So I still want to see what Taylor Green can do against some uh, SEC competition because when I was reading he was going good on good, he was under 60% passing the ball. And Hudson Clark had an interception. Brad Spence intercepted uh, passes day after day. They weren't all Taylor Green. But I still want to see can he match what KJ did or be better because K.J. Jefferson was never under 67% completion percentage in his Arkansas career. So I just want to see, do you think Taylor Green can be that in the SEC? Because scrambling alone, I don't think can do it. Because we have defensive ends in this league that run 4-4s four and 4-5s four and that are freaks. So I don't think people are really going to, you as a running quarterback, you can't really break away all the time. Even Jaden Daniels took some hits last season, so. Well, sorry about that, Juwan. Yeah, we're right up against the break. There, I think Chuck. all those are fair questions. They're all fair questions that are going to have to be answered. They're going to have to be answered, and, and, and we'll all find out together. 
you just found I mean Jawan is as thorough of a caller as you will find. Oh yeah, I mean that's a good point. It's a good is a fair question. It is. The mo- and the most honest answer is we don't know yet. That's a good idea. I, I mean, I'll start believing after Oklahoma State, pretty much. That's, that's the way I'll look at it. Chuck, appreciate well, I, Yeah, you we, bet. We you pre- bet, guys. Enjoyed it. All right. Thanks, Chuck. Chuck Barrett with us at each uh, each Tuesday morning on halftime. Yeah, we're right up against the break, so let's hit it and wrap up the first hour right after this. This is halftime. Hey, it's Ty Richardson for Papa's Pub and Pizzeria. I want to talk about their pizza today. The Goob Special with extra pepperoni and rib rub on top. The Parm Special with double mushroom and jalapenos. Don't forget about the bacon cheeseburger and everyone's favorite, the old trash can. Swing on by Papa's Pub and Pizzeria at 508 Garrison Avenue in downtown Fort Smith. Or give them a call at 479-783-9941. Papa's Pub and Pizzeria, the best darn pizza in Fort Smith, perhaps the world. You just ordered Mexican food and you're thinking we need everything to make margaritas. Well, no worries. Uber Eats and DoorDash is now available at Ford Corks Wine and Spirits. It's fast and convenient to get all your beer, wine, and spirits by calling Uber Eats or DoorDash. Ford Corks Wine and Spirits has a wide selection of bourbons, whiskey, craft beers, and the coldest imports in town. Stop in the climate-controlled wine cellar for the perfect selection of fine wines, too. Uber Eats and DoorDash, now available at Ford Corks Wine and Spirits. Just past the intersection of Mazard and Zero Street toward Ben Garen Park. Can you explain the infield fly rule? Neither can I. But I can help you navigate a variety of legal issues, from divorce to personal injury to estate planning. I'm Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions, a new law firm offering affordable flat fees with payment plans available. You get an ace at the price of a minor leaguer. Now that sounds like a grand slam to me. Call Mock Legal Solutions for your free consultation, 479-769-1505. Real advice, reasonable price. The tires on your vehicle go round and round, but when they don't, go to Van Alma Tire. They have tires in their name. That's their specialty. Van Alma Tire is all about tires. They have all the name brands and private labels available for you and in stock. So when it comes to getting tires for your ride, it's worth the drive. And financing is available. Ask for details. Whatever your tire need, check out Van Alma Tires on Highway 64 between Van Buren and Alma. Ready to get you rolling on new tires at Van Alma Tire. What's on your to-do list today? Does it include looking for a new piece of heavy equipment? If so, come by and see us at Sharp Equipment today and explore our latest offers and deals as a Wacker Newson dealer. Whatever your day brings, whatever job it is you need to complete, Wacker Newson Equipment is up to the task, and Sharp Equipment is here to help. Stop in Central Hydraulics and see us at Sharp Equipment, located at 6104 Highway 271 South in Fort Smith, or give us a call at 479-242-1406. Remodeling your bathroom? Don't let your imagination be limited by out-of-the-box shower doors or tub enclosures. Arkansas Glass and Mirror is your local source for all things glass, including plexiglass, mirrors, and shower doors since 1964. Arkansas Glass and Mirror has more selections, better prices, and the experience to help you build the shower of your dreams. They also have the only showroom in the area to help you create those dreams. Professional installation and professional service. Only at Arkansas Glass and Mirror, 1316 South Zero, Fort Smith, or online at ArkansasGlassandMirror.com. Your home is your biggest asset, so when you decide to add a sunroom, a patio cover, a new driveway, or new windows, you need to call a company you can trust. Sawyers has been part of your community for over 30 years. They're insured, licensed, and have 100% financing for all of their products. Take all the worry out of your next project. Call Sawyers and let them handle it from permitting to completion. Sawyers, serving the River Valley and Northwest Arkansas with a full showroom located in Fort Smith or online at sawyers-sunrooms.com. The best Tex-Mex and even better service is at Joe's Grill and Cantina in Fort Smith. Every Friday is Fajita Friday, featuring their charbroiled steak and chicken. It's tender, full of flavor, and comes with all the fixing. Saturdays are for endless enchiladas with Joe's homemade enchilada sauce and all the beef, chicken, or cheese enchiladas you can eat. Joe's Grill and Cantina, great Tex-Mex, even better service. 3400 South 74th Street, across from Harps. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 953. <laughs> 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 
You have to keep me right across the shoulder. Welcome back into Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Studios. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we make your dreams come true. We were we couldn't even get to it yesterday. There was so much else to get to. Uh, Christian, see unit Johnston. What did you think of The Naked Gun, which was your halftime homework this past weekend? Great movie, the right? The one I watched was amazing. Well, which one did you watch? This is hilarious, actually. I think it was two and a half. I think it was 33 and a third. Or 30, yeah, that, that sounds right. I assigned the I assigned the original Naked Gun, the one with the great baseball scene, the one with Enrico Palazzo singing the national anthem, the crazy umpire scene, um, you know, Priscilla Presley, you know, Nice beaver. Yeah, thanks. I just got it stuffed. That one, that one. He had. I started saying the lines to see unit when I brought it up to him today. He acted like he knew what I was talking about. Then he said, "Yeah, I really. Enjoy, I like. I like the Nicole, the Anna Nicole Smith parts." Wait, she wasn't in that movie. She was in the third one. That was he a, watched the third one, not the first one. That was a warm up. I've never seen any of these, and I don't know how you're going to react to this, Phil, but they're coming out with one called Just the Naked Gun, and it has Liam Neeson. Yep. Okay. Yep. Okay. I actually think this could work. Malik Jabal. Do I know? Do you know him? I don't know who that yeah, is. Okay. But I know, I know Liam Neeson. <clears throat> I think this could work. He could actually play a pretty good stone faced Lieutenant Frank. You got to, I'm going to have to watch it. Yeah, 1988. That's 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 the one that. Uh, the unit went in reverse. Like he he's doing it. He's doing it the Star Wars way. Apparently, there's supposed to be nine of these movies, and you started at number three. Although Star Wars starts at number four. You you get now you have now you get your assignment over again. I know. I liked that one, so I'm sure this one's going to be great. The too. first one is that much better. That much a quick better. hour and twenty five minutes too. I mean, it's just oh, in yeah. and out. That, yeah, is that? I don't even remember the third one. I remember a scene like in maybe like a a sex toy shop. That's all. I, I don't remember anything from that movie. <laughs> I I remember maybe I think Weird Al Yankovic got like a door opened in his face in that movie. I think that's all I remember from it. Yeah, and he got like they were imp- imp- being an imposter like for Weird Weird Al Yankovic and his girlfriend or whatever at the time to get into that awards ceremony and that was quite the ceremony man mm-hmm. anything that could go wrong went wrong so if i were to assign you the godfather you would watch godfather 3 which is not the way to do it you don't start you don't start with the sequel one well, after you watch three you can just throw that one in the way and just keep one and two <laughs> yeah pretty <laughs> much you watch one and two as much as you want that'd be fun. you actually could you could you could get away with with watching godfather 2 first it tells you the story of how he came up I mean, if that's it, we, we're talking about movies that are on the list of the hundred, five hundred, whatever. Godfather one and two are on the list of movies you have to watch. How about watching the uh, the the Indiana Jones movies in reverse? Watch watch Harrison Ford get progressively younger and younger, like Benjamin Button. It's like a it's a whole new thing where, where he can get younger, and it's exactly like Benjamin Button. Yes, I dig it. We're getting younger as we get into the second hour of halftime. Eight seven seven three seven seven sixty nine sixty three is our McClarty Daniel hotline. We'll take your calls and texts. And we've got Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation, who is in the Big Apple. Orange in the Apple. Good. Bad humor. More after this. Are you tired of the overcrowded fitness centers? Would you like a fitness option where you can actually work out then let's hang out the hangout is fort smith's newest fitness facility it has an 8,000 square foot gym indoor tennis pickleball and basketball with more sports coming soon the hangout offers group and individual training in the gym and boasts three active tennis pros to help you grow your game stop in today at 5400 gary street or thehangoutfs.com for more information be a part of something different fitness sports and more let's hang out hey i'm hagan smith As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your helm, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. Sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. 
Summertime in Arkansas means pond and creek fishing, and nothing catches bass and bluegill in a pond like a rebel crickhopper. You can twitch it, pop it, walk it, and swim it. It's the ultralight fishing lure that looks and acts like a real grasshopper. The crickhopper works great in tandem with light spinning rods and reels with four or six pound fishing line. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle shops everywhere. The Rebel Crickhopper. We're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for any sports fan. So make sure you. Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm. Best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. The Wave Rural Connect Shoal Creek Zone is open. Fast fiber internet, TV, and home phone available. This covers Midway, New Blaine, Scranton, Delaware, and other areas. Even if this isn't your zone, check your address. We might be available for you. Get your whole home solution. Internet, TV, and phone from a local provider. Go to signup.waveruralconnect.com or call 1-833-492-8372. Arkansas Valley Electric and Wave Rural Connect. Changing the communities we serve. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, showers and thunderstorms will be rumbling on through our high temperatures today, mid to upper 70s. We will start to dry things out tonight. The showers and thunderstorms ending from north to south, but overnight low will drop down in the low to mid 60s. And then we're back to sunshine Wednesday, a high low to mid 80s. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Grand Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. KERX Paris Fort Smith. This is halftime coming at you from the Crabtree RV Studios on ESPN 95.3. Coming to you live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Broadcasting on ESPN Arkansas and streaming on hitthatline.com. You got a good one tonight. You got a team in here that's a respect. Live from the Bush Light Studio. Don't ask me if I'm all right. What can you say dominate? And we not doing it. We're going to go get one and celebrate on somebody else's show. Yeah. Matt Jones, Matt Tate, Tina, Rose, said you had very motivational words at halftime. It's halftime with Bill Olson and Matt Jones. From the bottom of my toes to the top of my head. My heart, dog. I have zero respect for saying no ma at halftime. Vintage Matt Jones. Here we go. Right now, let's take the field. Our text on the McClarty Daniel Hotline 877-377-6963. Now here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. Welcome back on ESPN Arkansas and hit that line.com into hour number two of halftime. Phil Elson, my friend Matt Jones, and C Unit Christian Johnston producing. We'll have Alyssa Orange from Pink Trail Nation in about 15 minutes. She is in New York City uh, with the Next Star Olympic crew. They're getting set for, well, I guess they're just figuring out how they are going to be. Uh, covering the olympics how cool i mean just i was thinking about all the events uh some of my favorites the and i'd like to find out Alyssa's and, and yours as well but the the track relays like the four by one uh the swim that the medley relay that the swim team does i get into, uh, I get into swimming yeah, yeah because it's so quick it, that, it, yeah it's a real it's a team event too the passion just the the excitement it's they and it's um i i don't know it's it's just it's fun to watch well uh yeah so when, when is all this starting? Is it ju- is it July? I'd have to I have to look. I don't yeah. remember when the Olympics are starting up. Um, I did see that one of the longest serving play by play men in baseball retired yesterday abruptly too, right in the middle of the season. John Sterling, after thirty five years with the Yankees. The stretch and pitch swung on and popped up again off third. Hayes has room. Hayes makes a catch. Yankees win. Oh, Yankees win. <laughs> uh, 
Olympic World Series. They have surmounted every challenge. They have climbed every mountain. And the New York Yankees are world champions. And they are all in a pile right on the mound. Yeah, his career comes to it right in the middle of the season, too. He called 5,631 Yankee games in the regular season and in the postseason. Wow. And he did, like, you want to... So, like, Lou Gehrig, uh, Cal Ripken, Iron Man. Adam Sterling's together. got them all. Adam together, He yeah. did 5,060 consecutive games until I think he, he missed because his sister died and went to her funeral. July 26th was opening ceremonies okay. for, the, for the Olympics. Well, I, I always, you know, everybody had an opinion about Sterling, and he had, I mean, a, anytime you hear, well, that's baseball, Susan, that came from him. Because he would just explain to Susan Waldman every single moment. And that's when radio was, I mean, that was the thing, right? I mean, that was how you consumed paper and radio. Well, I think he still, that, that's how, I mean, AM radio, FM radio is still pretty popular in a place like New York City. And in Fayetteville, Arkansas, and yeah, the River Valley, right. too, obviously. I, I, I'm a big radio guy. But he, I don't know, they, like he to me, always, I'm in I'm into details when I do play-by-play play for a baseball game. Sterling spared you the details you didn't get the details from but you got all the personality you got all the theater you got a lot of what new york is even though i don't think he's from new york he also called he was a longtime um nba broadcaster he called i think it was the game that bird scored 63 against the hawks in new orleans uh which that's a that's a that's a game where you see highlights of bird like hitting a shot and even the hawks players on the bench are like, oh, my God, look at what this guy is doing, and they're falling all over each other. I'm pretty sure Sterling called that game, too, because he was the voice of the Hawks then. Wow. Yeah, 84 years old. Well, 84 years old. Yep, 84 years old. He had the perfect old. voice for a Yankees broadcaster. Like, it was just, yeah. every time I heard it, I associated it with the Yankees. It just felt like he was a Yankee, even though you said he's not from there, which is pretty crazy. Yeah, that's right. Uh Eight seven seven three seven seven sixty nine sixty three for calls and texts on our McClarty Daniel hotline, and yeah, people keep sending in texts about this person visiting, that person visiting. Uh, what is this uh, reporting from uh, from one of the Twitter accounts that, that likes to tweet about the Hogs sidelines? Arkansas says that another seven footer is going to be visiting Arkansas center Umar Balo. Oh, I've Arizona. seen him play. Okay, I saw Arizona. He, yeah, he's raw, a uh, big, a uh, big, big bone center. He's uh, saw them play in the tournament this year. Okay. Rated as the number one overall prospect in the transfer portal by Two Four Seven Sports. That's and what, has uh, canceled the visit to Louisville and is going to visit Arkansas instead. You get two seven footers. That's what Bay Fall wants to be in three years. You know, Bay Fall, I think, is a talent. He's just so, so raw. You would love, you would absolutely love if there was a spot for him and being able to learn. If these two kids, these two seven footers were on the team, then you had Bay Fall as your third, just practicing, learning. And then next year, man, that would be such a, that would be such a big jump. You, you don't get, you don't get a player like that without the combination of Cal NIL. 100%. He's a stud. I, I mean, so watching him play, uh, got to see him play in the tournament, watch how he moved, how fluid he was, his basketball skill. He's he's raw as well. I mean, he's in some big men are, but he he catches the ball okay. Like, his hands are decent. That's that's part of the deal is, is, is a big guy that if he can dribble a little, if he has good hands, he knows what to do with the ball. That's why I liked Klingon from UConn could catch the ball, knew where to go with the ball, knew how to face up, and then he's he's an elite defender. I don't know. this. I mean, it, being, being your size, you're going to be pretty good at, at, at defense. So this, but now, I have no idea because you only – right now there's two players on the team. But with the kind of skills that it sounds like Ivicic has, and I'm going to I'm gonna make mistakes with his last name because I always think of Goran Ivanisevic. Remember him, the big left-handed – tennis star from Croatia that would hit a serve like 115 miles an hour. I am I know I'm saying Ivisic and Ivisevic intertwining them, and that's the only reason why, but I'll get past it. But Zvonimir Ivisic has those skills. You can tell me you may end up with two seven-footers on this team with those kind of skills. Dude, what if those are your first two guys that commit? That's championship pedigree. I, I think of beating a team like Florida, uh, the, their athletes, their size. I think of Tennessee and they're big. They had 
uh, they were able to get a Dalton connect to, and, and, and I'm a Ziegler fan. Uh, but but you look at A and M. You you look at teams in, in, in the SEC. Phil, if you got to have an inside presence, I mean you you have to if 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 you want to have a chance to win the league. Eight seven seven three seven seven sixty nine sixty three. Got thoughts on that? This doesn't mean he is playing for Arkansas. It doesn't mean that he's chosen you know Arkansas. What? It's just it's a visit. I, I think Coach Cal a little bit, and, and I don't know. We'll, we'll see how it gets into it. But from what you hear, what you're hearing is is you're selective because whenever you extend an offer, there's there's a, there's something to be. When I was getting recruited, there was something to be said about that. Like an A and M or a Tennessee, they're like, "Hey, if you're going to commit to us, we'll offer you." Sure. So I think there might be some of that going on there, where he he wants to. You talk to him, it's like, "Hey, man, what do you? If you want to commit to it, the scholarship's yours. But if you're not going to commit to it," then thank you, but we're not going to waste our time. You know, you have that type of dialogue. You see a lot of kids even in high school now that thank the coaches publicly on social media for the offer. So it's out there. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that I, if I've seen that in from from portal guys. Mm-hmm. I see it more from the high school recruits. Um, I guess with the portal guys, it's just kind of understood. Yeah, you're getting offered, but it's it's not quite as public. I understand what you're saying though, because you don't want to you don't want the the um, the visuals of being turned down by somebody. Mm-hmm. It works just both ways, but then you're able to have a dialogue. So it's it's kind of like what what happens with with uh, Musselman taking the USC job or Cal get, ending up at Arkansas. There there there's talking going on before we find out about it. If it, if it's two weeks, one day, whatever. But there's usually a conversation going on. Good afternoon, Charlie. He's giving us a call on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. Charlie, what's going on? What's up, uh, Phil? I don't even think at this point I even call. It's not like calling. It's just I'm just joining in to whatever you guys are talking about. What are you guys talking about? What What, what are we? Ta- we're talking about Big Z, right? Is that because that partially we're talking? Of, the, there's another seven footer from Arizona that apparently is going to be visiting Arkansas. Okay. Well, I'll tell you what. I love how uh, Charlie calls you, in and doesn't know what it was we were talking about. <laughs> Well, I tell you what, you know, I, I believe 100%, uh, you know, a little, some people were a little bit, you know, we don't have patient fans. I don't think there's patient people anywhere anymore. Like starting to get a little scared. And then the whole thing comes across about Big Z yesterday. And I'm like, man, it's, listen, I trust Kyle Perry. He's going to put this thing together. Uh, you know, and you guys heard the uh, little release that Big Z uh, did. You know, he thanked Kentucky and everything. but. You know, to go to the NBA, I want to play for Coach Cal. I mean, he said it. And and that's kind of similar to, with Mus. You know, guys want to go to the NBA, they want to play with certain for certain coaches. It just is what it is. And he just believes that, you know, that gives him the best chance. And, and, and Phil, you are right that as far as his skill. Didn't he shoot six for 16 from three last year? I think he's got a little range on it. He's got some skill. I know he's not like huge or anything maybe they want to get him a little stronger or whatever but i don't know how all that's going to work out uh matt i want to ask you a question real quick and i think you're probably going to agree you may not do you think that the lakers should sell tonight i'm serious about this because and i think it's fun stupid a lot of people are thinking they should sell this game tonight and and just battle it out with golden state and sacramento and try to get the eight seed i personally don't agree with that because I do believe – I don't – you know, baseball guys, basketball guys, but I don't think you mess with that. I think you try to take care of business. And, yeah, it's Denver, but, you know, it is what it is. So, go have to play them eventually. That's just the way I think about it. Anyways, y'all have a good one. I'll hang up with you. Thanks, Charlie. Yeah, the competitors compete, that's for sure. Um, you know, it is about matchups. You look at the Celtics when Doc Rivers was there, they, they at the end of the year you would try to get the seating because you, you want the easiest path, and and I think it's a no-brainer, uh, Phil. I think you want to play Oklahoma. I mean, Oklahoma City and Denver both both are talented, uh, but if you had to tell me which one do I want to play, I want to play Oklahoma City. I, I think Denver's the clear favorite to, 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 to repeat or to at least make it to, to represent the West. Uh, but yeah, you're gonna have to beat either one of them. It's just you want them in the first round. Uh, but if I was if I was handicapping it, I would say the Lakers have a better chance at beating Oklahoma City in a series than they do Denver. You can't really. I guess maybe you can. But you'd have to Tank play him in the final. Game? I mean, you'd have to play him in the Western Conference Finals eventually. So you got you'd have to get to him. I I now am fully on your side, Matt. That these are not the playoffs. 
They're you, not. You yeah. can't, it can't be the playoffs if you could literally like, okay, we're not going to win this game. Don't worry about it because we don't need to because we'd rather play that team. This isn't playoffs. This is a different. It's not regular season, but it's not playoffs. It's somewhere in the hinterlands. You know, you have an 82-game season for a reason. Uh, I get it if you had a tie and you got to play a playoff game to see who can make it in. Uh, but it's just a marketing. It's fake drama. It's fake theater yeah. is what it is. That's what I was going to say. Yeah. All this is is a TV show. It's a fa- it's it's like the bachelorette party or whatever it is. Yeah. <laughs> There's like, hey, you can have this rose. Uh, come back next week. Uh, uh, have you watched any episodes of that? One uh, episode. I, just I, one. Or maybe I, even a portion of one. I, I, I Well, I did see this on watching the news that uh, they said, are you sad? The are, golden are, the golden bachelors they didn't make split. it. What oh. do you What do you know? They didn't make it ninety days. I mean, yeah. It was like not even two months. I really was. Th- I thought that one was going to stick. You know, I thought, man, they they good for them. Uh, let's Let's stick with Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation. She's in New York City. She joins halftime in just a moment. This is halftime. We are here in the Bud Walton Arena, where it is about as loud as a building could get. The loudest arena to start a game I've ever been in. This is a hard place. You don't come here expecting to win. Let me tell you that. The name, the brand, the identity that he brings to a program that has a storied, rich tradition, an outstanding fan base in Fayetteville, Arkansas. Listen to every Razorback basketball game right here on ESPN 95.3 and hit that line.com. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster and in the past decade as a roofing contractor. He knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. Hmm, let's see. Leaky faucet Tuesday. Water flooding the yard. Hmm, better put that down for the middle of the month when the bills aren't due. Honey, what are you doing? Planning our plumbing problems, of course. You can't plan our plumbing problems, but you should plan our plumber. What do you mean? Like all important contacts, I keep West Arc Plumbing in my phone. They're always there when we need them, and they don't overcharge since they know we don't plan our plumbing problems. Here, honey, here's their number. 646-5151. Thanks, babe. West Arc Plumbing. We keep you flowing. WG Equipment is your home for New Holland ag and construction equipment, sales, parts, and service for high horsepower row crop tractors and combines, utility tractors and hay equipment, compact track loaders, and mini excavators. WG Equipment has it all. Stop by one of their eight locations to explore the value of New Holland tractors and see why New Holland hay equipment and twin rotor combines are second to none in harvesting ability. Need to upgrade your construction equipment fleet? Give WT Equipment a call. Come by a store or check out their website, wtequip.com. Tommy Craft here for The Fence Man, the company you can trust when it comes to building your next fence. The Fence Man recently built new gates for my existing fence. The whole process was easy, quick, and most importantly, affordable. Plus, 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available with The Fence Man. If you need a new fence, gate, or anything that involves a fence, call The Fence Man, 479-782-3936. That's 782-3936. The Fence Man, he ain't afraid of no work. At Southern Tire Mart, we look out for you and your vehicle. Come visit us for America's most trusted brands like Michelin Tires and top-of-the-line servants. You can depend on Southern Tire Mart and Michelin Tires to keep you rolling. Come see us at Southern Tire Mart, just off I-540, exit 14 in Fort Smith, for Michelin Tires that fit your needs and service that cares for you like family. Hello, this is Sebastian County Assessor Zach Johnson here to remind you to assess your personal property by May 31st to avoid late penalty. You can do this in person at one of our three locations, over the phone, or online by going to www.countyservice.net. I would also like to remind any current homeowners or individuals buying their homes on contract to contact our office and check on your eligibility for the Homestead Tax Credit. Contact us today to see if you qualify. The Homestead Tax Credit can save you up to $425 off of your tax bill. This ad sponsored by Sebastian County Assessor and paid for by Amendment 7. 
Barrels and Brews Bottle Shop at the Hub and Chaffee Crossing has everything you need for your favorite activities. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you with the current specials and our new arrivals of must-have bourbons and whiskeys. Hit the cooler for some of the coldest beer in town or choose from our large selection of amazing wines. Order online or call ahead Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. at the Hub in Chaffee Crossing. Barrels and Brews, voted best of the best in Fort Smith. It will put a smile on your face. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. Well, I knock to a window. Make sure to follow Halftime on Twitter at Hit That Line AR and on Facebook and Instagram at Hit That Line. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to Halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. I got a text last night as I was eating dinner with my kids from Melissa Orange. It was from City Field in uh, uh, Queens where I don't know who they were playing, but the Mets were playing. Who are you watching, Alyssa, and how is the ballpark? Are you? Is that a joke? The Mets? Jose Reyes, does he still play yeah. for him? I don't know who they were yeah, playing. Yeah, no, they were, they were playing the Pirates. It's why I sent it to you. Well, no, see, no, you don't. I don't want to have my eyes on that. I've watched a game and oh. a half of the Pirates. They've lost them both. I was, li- <laughs> I was literally not paying attention to them yesterday on purpose. Who won the game? Oh, the Mets did. See, but that's they did because have a three zero lead at some point. <laughs> because you sent me a photo of the Pirates, Alyssa. I'm sorry. It's the I'm only sorry. place where the jinx works, and now it's on you. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, but it was really fun. But yeah, that's why I was like, "Look, the Pirates are playing the Mets." I got excited. My bad. Don't get excited when the Pirates are playing, man. Uh, you'll learn your lesson at some point. <laughs> um, no, it was great. What's going on in New York City? So- so we're here for the uh, Olympic Media Summit for Team USA. So we've been talking to athletes the past couple of days. They've had some really good panels on mental health and security and, you know, comeback athletes. And, uh, you know, they're about to have a track and field one here in a little bit, which has a couple names that some Arkansas fans would recognize. Char Davis Woodhall is here. She's married to Hunter Woodhall, but she trains in Fayetteville. And then Ryan Krauser, who also trains in Fayetteville, will be here tomorrow. So uh, it's been good. I do have to say, though, about my Mets thing, you know, Mike Piazza is my favorite player ever. So I just hung out in the Mike Piazza lounge and took photos and sent them to my dad the whole time. They claim him and the Dodgers claim him. The Marlins do, do not. No, it was only for a day. It was less than 24 hours, so it was fine. That's funny. That's funny. Um, so from afar, you uh, obviously saw about the news about um, uh, Zivonimir Ivicic, um now mm. committing to Arkansas. We're hearing reports of other seven footers that might be coming to visit Arkansas. And, you know, I just wonder what the rest of the week is going to be like. Um, I, I can't imagine that, that if is the only commit that, that, that announces this week. Yeah, I don't think so. I think this was just, you know, the first ball to drop and it's going to be exciting to see kind of what happens because you, you had Cal's announcement, his introductory ceremony and welcome ceremony. Then he had to get on a plane to go to his own award ceremony in California. So it had been quiet for a few days. Not that things weren't going behind the scenes, but Arkansas fans just really anxious for this first one to drop. And it finally did. And I think it's just a domino effect of what we're going to see. And uh, Wallace Spearman is here as well. And I was talking to him and he was just like, I just, I, I'm really excited to see like who Cal can bring to Fayetteville not only some former players who can come back and watch, but also, you know, guys that he can come in and, and, and help continue to elevate the program. 
OG Wallace Spearman. There we go. Uh, big, How about it? big fan of his. Tyson Gay as well. Uh, speaking of our, our Kansas in the Olympics, we got any our, our Kansas in, in any of these uh, track events? Yeah, absolutely. Um, you know, you have, uh, well, this isn't track, but Paris swimming, and I've done a story on her, Olivia Chambers. She's from Little Rock, um, but she is um, blind, uh, started losing her eyesight at 16. She will be here. She's expected to do really well at the para games as a swimmer. Um, and then you look at, you You hope Britton Wilson, who is, who's not from Arkansas, but obviously went to Arkansas and trained still in Fayetteville, uh, to rehab really well, come back and be able to make this Olympic team. Sandy Morris is another name where she's looking for her third game. So a lot of Arkansas ties, you know, even look at Jaden Hibbert, who won the Bowerman, and, and he's someone who could easily bring some medals in for, for Jamaica, even though, you know, he's not in Arkansas. Um, that the program that Arkansas has, people want to go there to compete because they know they can be Olympians and they can compete on that level. Is there any event, uh, Alyssa, that uh, that you love watching the most? I was talking with Phil. I, I love the the track relay, especially the sprint, the four by two, the four by one, four by four. Uh, what what are some of the events that you just you just love watching? You have to love the sprints and the hurdles. I mean, the hurdles is amazing because because of how fast they go and how graceful they do it. It's incredible. Um, I've really kind of fallen in love with the jumps after covering Jaden Hibbert for a while. And that's kind of on the track side. But as a, as a young girl, I mean, gymnastics is what, what people watched. And, and, and I grew up remembering watching the gymnastics. It's like during the winter, you watch the figure skating. As a young girl, that's what I grew up watching every four years. I'm into the velodrome events. And I'm not into racing normally, but that, those, that's fun. I mean, the, the speed and how close they are right next to each other. Do you, do you, I mean, mm -hmm. how do you know what you're covering when you go over? It's going to be a day-to-day -day thing, and we're still trying to figure that out. They have most of the schedule out, so we kind of know what events are happening. But there's going to be a rotation of, you know, someone is just going to the events and getting the media availabilities afterwards, and then other people are going to put in packages. And the Olympics have so many, you know, rules with what you can show and what you can't show. So, so our non-NBC affiliates we're doing stuff for will get more of stuff like the vibe of Paris and like what's going on around the games and not the game specifically. So our assignment's going to change day to day, hour to hour. And uh, I think that's, what's going to be exciting. So that's what I've been told. It's my first one. So I'm excited to get over there and kind of see how it all, all unfolds. I'd file to be the food correspondent, Matt, screw the, screw the sports. Give me the food. <laughs> yeah. The wine, wine and cheese, That's right. wine and cheese correspondent here. Thank you. <laughs> There's a, I, I was looking, I pulled up the list of, uh, of events there. I, I I'm, I'm a, a little jealous, Alyssa. It's going to be cool to get over there and see, and then you have the new event, the basketball three on three, but I was looking up like the, the modern pentathlon. It's like, well, okay, what's that? And I was thinking like it was a track event. It's totally just a, it's out there. It's like 20 minutes before the event starts, you get to pick a horse. Then you got to ride a horse. Then you have to do fencing. You have to swim. What is modern about this? That's a, I swim a 200 mile freestyle. I mean, this has got to be the coolest event out that's there. That's incredible. Holy cow. No, that's, that's exciting. Like I'm also excited, like the artistic swimming, which is synchronized swimming. Uh, water polo. We just talked mm -hmm. to some of the females on the water polo team, and they are awesome. And that's that's the biggest thing is once you talk to these athletes, even if it's a sport that you're not familiar with or you don't know much about, you're like, heck yeah, I'm gonna go watch that. Like this weightlifting girl got me pumped after her interview. So I'm excited for for a little bit of everything. Hey, I'm um. You and I were texting about this last night. You're in New York. Marquisha Davis drafted by the New York Liberty. What was it? Was it 11th wow. or 12th overall? Um, 11th in, overall, yeah. Wow. Former Arkansas Razorback, straight out of McGee, played at Springdale, uh, two years at Arkansas, less than two years at Arkansas, if I remember now, and then uh, two years, yeah. I think, at Ole Miss. Um, I didn't realize that she was that she was on draft boards, but there she goes. She's got all the athleticism yeah. in the world. There's no doubt. Yeah, and, and I have to say, Phil, I, I didn't either. I, I did not, as I was scrolling through, kind of looking at who was going when, and I saw that, and I was like, holy cow, I did not anticipate that, and maybe that's just for my lack of, of looking it up. Um, but, again, I, I guess the growth at Ole Miss really has stood out, and I was talking to Pat Jenkins today. He said this is the third Arkansan to ever be drafted in the WNBA. So, real shout-out to Marquisha Davis, who I know a lot of fans cheered for when she was at Arkansas because she was, you know, played at Springdale. 
and um, that's an exciting time for her. Well, and then there, you know, where there's so much focus on on the men's team and the, the portal activity and and all of that, that it kind of fell by the wayside that Talia Scott transferred to Auburn. Um, and yeah. obviously, you saw that. That I didn't expect that. I thought, look, and I think they have a good program, but I thought she she may have ended up somewhere else. But the photo of her shooting money in her in her, uh, yeah. in her announcement, very telling. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. Very telling. So that's the first thing I thought too. Was well, wow, that's telling. And the second thing I thought was interesting, um, you know, she had she had said go Tigers on Jersey Wolfen Barger's thing, and everyone thought, oh, she'll go to LSU. Well, she went to the other Tigers team, so she went to Auburn. But she put out a tweet and said that she didn't want to be a part of something that was already established. She wanted to go and help build something, which is very interesting to me because what were you doing at Arkansas? Like, that's what we were doing here. So, and then you post a picture of money and. I'm not going to sit here and speculate, but I think, you know, people aren't dumb. Yeah, had had a little, must have had a little something to do with it, which which just is yeah. the is the direction of uh, of sports these days. But you know what? College athletics, you know, and that's a topic we've been talking about here too. A lot of questions are just with the way that college athletics is going. What would that look like for some of these non revenue Olympic sports on the collegiate level, and how much they depend on the collegiate level to be that stepping stone for these athletes to compete on the Olympic level. And, and is this NIL world that we're living in going to scale back some of these other Olympic sports down the road? It's been a big topic of conversation here. It's been very interesting. Well, and remember the Olympics used to just be about amateurism and what you couldn't have any mm-hmm. professionalism, no sponsorships or anything. If I remember And if you know, I think yep. there's still some, I don't know if there's some sports that in the Olympics that are viewed that way, or if it's all now, uh, but mostly, you know, professional athletes. Uh, but I think that's the direction it's gone. And, you know, that seems to be the direction college sports are going too. Yeah. Well, and you, and if you look at these athletes, typically on, you know, the water polos and the weightlifting and these smaller, um, not as popular sports, even swimming, they don't make a lot of money. And so they've got to find some other kind of form of income to be able to support themselves financially and then also train. And, you know, so you have to look at that. But then you look at there are going to be track athletes who win gold who will get a monetary stipend for winning at the Olympics in track and field. We talked about that, too. So it's very interesting the way that things are moving. And there's a lot of support on, you know, we athletes should be paid for, for their results in the Olympics. And it's a big conversation. And it just opens up a lot of doors for exactly the direction that things are going. I think that's something for us to talk about uh, again another time. We're out of time here. When do you when do you make it back home, Melissa? I know you miss the family. Uh, yeah, the babes get to see me tomorrow night, so I'm excited. Very good. All right, maybe we'll see you at Palm sometime soon. Thanks for joining and enjoy the Big Apple. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Alyssa. It's Alyssa Orange from Pig Trail Nation. We appreciate her time each Tuesday on halftime. Brought to you by Joe's Grill and Cantina. They've got the best service in town, and every Friday is Fajita Friday. Features char-broiled steak and chicken, tender, full of flavor, comes with the extras. Saturdays are endless enchiladas with Joe's homemade enchilada sauce and all the beef and chicken enchiladas that you can eat. Joe's Grill and Cantina, great Tex-Mex, better service. They're 3400 South 74th, right across from Harps in Fort Smith. And you can go to joesportsmith.com for more information. Stay with us. Halftime is back in just a moment. This is Halftime. You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Listen anytime and anywhere on your favorite mobile. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned. Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McCarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McCarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McCarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, in our little leagues, in our food banks, and our people. 
So you're not just making a purchase, you're making a difference too. Come see us at any of our six locations in Northwest Arkansas. Tommy Craft here. When it came time for new gates and some fence repairs at my home, the fence man was my first call. The fence man does it all, from large commercial jobs to small residential repairs. Wood privacy fence, vinyl fence, commercial or residential chain link, even custom wrought iron fencing. 479-782-3936. 18 months, same as cash financing with approved credit is now available. If it involves fencing, the fence man does it. The fence man. He ain't afraid of no work. 479-782-3936. The dandy white perch. Big old slab. C'est bon, Sakale. One beautiful crappie. It's a paper mouth. <laughs> Some serious crappie. Nice spec. We got crappie. They might go by different names, but all prefer the same thing. Bobby Garland, America's favorite. White perch, slab, Sakale, paper mouth, crappie, spec, crappie baits. I call it dinner. Bet Online is the number one source for all your sports betting this season and every season. You'll find the latest odds, team matchup info, player news, and game trends all at Bet Online. Bet Online features live betting, free contests, and live scores for almost any sport or game imaginable. The fastest and easiest way to bet all your favorite leagues and events. Go to betonline.ag to join and receive your 50% welcome bonus with your first deposit. Make sure you use the promo code BELIEVE to receive your rewards. Pet online where the game starts. Are you looking for the best Razorbacks insight and analysis? Hell yeah. How about listening to an Arkansas football legend? Matt Jones, all he does is make big plays. What's the voice of the Hogs have to say? Hey, what a great crowd last night. Don't forget about the Omahogs. The Hogs are going to Omaha. Matt Jones, Chuck Barrett, and Phil Elson, the best in the business. On the Hit That Line podcast network. Go to hitthatline.com or search Hit That Line wherever you listen to podcasts. Don't forget to rate, review, subscribe, and share. Madonna has gone from like a virgin to like a surgeon. You can try to nip and tuck from the curse of sin, but eventually death is going to win. God will do major surgery on this sin-filled world, and when he does, people will try and hide their faces from him. Even plastic Christians won't be exempt. Look up Isaiah chapter 2 and see how the spiritual world renders this an immaterial world. I'm Pastor Ray from Woodland. Read about it. This video is powered by the pros at Pascal Air Plumbing and Electric. Arkansas owned, Arkansas operated. GoPascal.com. Thanks for watching us here on ESPN Arkansas. Download the brand new Hit That Line Now app in the Apple and Google Play stores. ESPN Arkansas, more than just radio stations. Call or text the McClarty Daniel Hotline at 877-377-6963. McClarty Daniel, a vehicle for every lifestyle. When you're looking for a new car, you want to shop for a vehicle you love with an organization you trust. You've probably heard that McClarty Daniel means making deals, but what I'm inspired by the most is that McClarty Daniel means making a difference in our community. When you buy a vehicle with McClarty Daniel, you reinvest right here in the community, in our schools, Welcome back to Halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Got a question or comment for the guys? Call or text on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Let's get back to the show with the voice of Arkansas Razorback baseball, Phil Elson, and Razorback football legend, Matt Jones. Well, you know Chris Paul has the most ever L's in playoff history when having a 2-0 lead. Like, his teams would be up 2-0 and they would lose the series. No kidding. Because Blake Griffin retired. 
So they got no chance in the in these playoffs then, right? Once they get up two zero. If Kawhi Leonard's a healthy, if if Paul George is, I mean, the 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 Clippers are just as talented as anybody. Well, his former center and um <clears throat> and running mate Lake Griffin uh, retired today. Blake Griffin announces his retirement. Oklahoma Top Sooner. overall pick, yeah. 2009. Towards ACL, his very first year. That's what I thought. It was always a knee injury. His very, very first year, because I think he was rookie of the year, and it, it got to count his second year, but he was. It's like, well, that's your second year. He did not. Re- he retired before Boston even plays a playoff game, which basically means he was told, we don't need you on the playoff roster. Man, it's it, well. Father Time catches up to you. You know, it's it's one of those deals where they're in his prime years. Um, he was um, he was never the best power forward in the game. He he could have been the most exciting power forward in the game, but he was he was a top five. I bet he was an all star at least six years that Is he, he played. Thirty five years old. I Oklahoma, thought it, I thought it was younger. Oklahoma Sooner. That just show, that just goes to show you age faster than you realize. I did not realize Blake Griffin is 35 years old. Yeah, he stuck around a long time. You asked if he's a Hall of Famer? Uh, probably not. No, nah, I don't think so. Probably. He was never the best. I think that, you know, there's a couple things you have to look at. Uh, never, he couldn't, he never really developed that shot. You you look at other people like a, like a Mark Gasol. Um, oh, I'm thinking of Al Horford. Uh, you're even thinking of Brooke Lopez, other bigs that, that could develop a shot later on as they played. He 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 it never, never could, happened, right? His was all athletic. I mean, just he would dunk on you. He had a couple years, man. He could he could what do they say? Walk, go up to the top of the glass and take a dollar off of and, and and leave change. Like he had some hops. And then break the rim on its way down. Oh my down. goodness, beast! Uh, his career has come to an end. Also, Miles Slusher will no longer be a Colorado Buffalo. He and <clears throat> as the story says. Several linemen with starting experience have entered the transfer portal from Colorado football, which includes the starting right tackle and uh, starting wide receiver, Slusher. So that'll be, gosh, did Slusher, did he commit somewhere else after leaving Arkansas and then end up at Colorado? No, he went straight to Colorado. That's right. I don't know if the Colorado thing's going to work. I still will say that. I I don't think it's going to work for Dion. Well, and, you know, and everybody's losing players, but that's a lot. That's seven. I don't think they've got, like, some big incoming class or anything like that. Uh, speaking of other commits and a flip, Kentucky got their first commit under Mark Pope, and it is Colin Chandler who was committed to Pope at BYU. He is a, he is a five-star, but he'd also, he's, he's Mormon, so he'd been, he had committed a couple of years ago and then went on his, on his mission to yeah. Sierra Leone. I was listening. I was flipping around the dial um, earlier this morning. I heard KSR, and they dig a little. They did a little digging into this. That means that this kid, Colin Chandler, has not played a full court basketball game in over two years. You can play basketball if you are on a Mormon mission, but only half court. Nice. They actually like looked through. There are stories that confirmed this. You can only play half court basketball. Well, they do have the specialist of all special underwears, so I know that. I mean, they you got to get him at a at a special store and everything. So half court, maybe he's Ice Cube. You know, the big three. He just got to stay in shape, work on something. They're also not allowed to swim. Was, I, I, they were reading this like they don't want something to get too intense. They don't want you to feel like you are competing against somebody else. So I wonder if you're only allowed to play half court basketball. Are you allowed to even run, or is it just walking basketball? Anyway, so this is their first. This is their first commit. He's a five star. He's supposed to be really good. He just hasn't played organized basketball in uh, two years. That's fine. He's he's instead of being eighteen, he's twenty. Oh, uh, that's I, then there's that. I think he's going to be okay. I think he's going to be all right. And there are three, four more people sending the screenshot of sidelines Arkansas on Twitter reporting that Umar Balo is going to be visiting Arkansas. Yes, we know. We know. We mentioned it. We mentioned he's a, it an he's hour a, ago. A four year guy. The game I watched was against Clemson. Uh, and and he I I just looked at looked it up. He had fifteen and fifteen that game, but he's a he's a four year guy, and and that's what I Clemson played his zone and and they they didn't have the they couldn't really have anybody to match up with them. But I mean he's a he's a stud. Like he's 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 a beast just in size alone. I mean there's not a lot of people built like him. 
I can't wait to see what this team looks like when it's actually put together. But I don't, I'm not going to do too much research into somebody that is just making a visit. When yeah, he, when we'll he find commit, out. When he commits, I'll, 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 I'll see him play a game in, what, October? When, whenever they, whenever they, November, whenever they start playing, we'll, we'll see him play then. Let's not have any big-time exhibition games this next October. Go, go play them, but let's just re- remember it's a jamboree. Remember what it is. Carl reminded me that Slusher committed to Louisville first. That's right. It was Louisville. I knew he committed to a different team outside of Colorado. Uh, and now, so that that's Arkansas, Louisville, Colorado, and now somewhere else. Four teams in four years. I think it's been for or five years for Slusher. I think. What, what a time. Been. What a time to be a college athlete. Huh? It is wild it's, out there on the frontier. It's, it's, uh, it's time. It's the time is here for the college athlete. <laughs> About time too, it's right? It's here, man. They're they're uh, they have some power now. They have a little bit of, you know, they get to kind of decide a little bit more. It's a, it's a good time to be a college athlete. I've got a note for you on today's baseball game. I told you yesterday. Yeah, you might look at the the Texas Tech numbers and really, oh gosh, look at this team that's coming in here. Look at how they score. Look at all of this. Look at the, all the numbers that they put up. Somebody's got to find out for me, and I could, guess I could just do it myself. The altitude in Lubbock, Texas, or at least what the average wind speed is and how that correlates from the direction it goes to the way that that their ballpark is situated. Because the numbers between home and road for Texas Tech offensively are night and day. They score almost 13 runs a game at their home ball. 13 runs. That's an average 13 runs a game at home. They score a little over six on the road, which is pretty good on the road but it's not like frightening 27 yankees you're never going to beat this team they're coming here they're coming here they're coming a bomb who are you throwing tonight ben bybee throws tonight okay i'm gonna i'm gonna guess bybee is better than any pitcher they've seen in the midweek i don't don't know what you know as far as the big 12 is concerned and the teams that they've played i'm sure there's some really talented pitchers that have a little more experience than ben but as far as stuff is concerned he'd be right up there with them and i don't don't think they've seen anybody like him on a Tuesday. And then Colin Fisher on a Wednesday, too. So I feel pretty good about these next two games. Texas Tech has really scary numbers at home. 364 batting average, 638 slugging, averaging over two home runs a game. On the road, they hit about 100 points lower. Their slugging percentage is about 200 points lower. Their runs are split in half. And they average a little over one home run per game. So they are literally a different team when they play at home than when they play on the road. Some will say, hey, didn't Arkansas just go on the road and lose a couple of games? Yes. They also have a series win at Auburn. They also have one, two out of three on a neutral site that wasn't at Baum Stadium against three different teams. It's not the same thing. I know after an L, uh, you're, you're excited to get back out there and play. And, and I know baseball is no difference because you actually play a lot of games. You're going to play more games than, than you do in football or basketball. So I know they're, they're ready to get out there and, and, and get that taste out of your mouth and get back to the winning ways. I had Peyton Holt on Bases Loaded um, that came out today, um, and that's exactly what he said. I just asked, you know, what's, what's been like today, and that would have been yesterday, what's it like today? After losing the you know, first series, he was like, we did, I didn't, he barely even thought about it. He's moved right on five games this week. So you don't worry about what just happened. That's right. You just look at what's in front of you. You get five games to play this week. It's it's a pretty cool thing to control your own destiny, and that's where they still are. Absolutely. That's that's there's a there's a handful of teams that control their own destiny, and um the 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 Razorbacks are up there. And now they're not number one anymore. But it's just wait until – so uh, a- A&M is number one. Even okay. though the Hogs lead A&M in the standings by a game, A&M is number one. And it, I think it's because they're just blowing teams out right now. Um, everybody will get nervous again if the Hogs get ranked number one. I feel like there are a lot of fans that are very happy now that they're ranked second or third, uh, second and four of the polls, third and one of the others. And they're happy with that because they feel when you got number one, you don't want to be number one when it comes time for selection – of the tournament, number two sounds just great. You know, in order for that to happen, they're going to probably have to lose another series, which then also means that we'll hear the sky is falling and they don't know what they're doing and they're never going to win and what's wrong with us. I'm just to tell you what, don't worry. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with. What the were they? Twenty and ten last year. 
in the SEC. That's yeah, right. Yeah. Are they on? They're on pace to be twenty and ten again, right? Like they're they're on. That's they're that's, on pace for better than okay, that. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So we're we're still we're we're still okay. Close enough to it. And and look, I think Peyton Holt is going to be the left fielder for now. Like it'll be a position where he will start in left field until he shows that it's time for somebody else until a slump. And he hasn't slumped at all. Like this, the, the, I don't, I don't know if Peyton will slump because he seems to be a really steady hitter, but I have to say, you have to realize here, they were 13 and four. Arkansas is 13 and four with Peyton Holt in the lineup. They're 17 and one when he's not in the starting lineup. That's uh, they, they didn't lose these four games because of him. But the, the point is, they still have played really well and won 17 of 18 games when he's not in the starting lineup. There's talent. Yeah. Like he can be a key, but what you need is you need your left fielder and your right fielder to hit. And right now you're not getting enough from either one of those positions. Um, and, and truthfully, as important as Holt is to this team, it will mean more once Diggs gets going to what he looked like last year. Um, cause he can be a really dynamic run producer. I think Holt can be too, but I think if you get that kind of production from left field and right field, even a little bit of an uptick, you won't really feel like anything's wrong with the offense at that point. 877-377-6963 is our McClarty Daniel hotline. Stay with us. We'll wrap up our number one right after this. This is halftime. The Camping World RV Expo is coming to the Choctaw Casino and Resort in Pecola, Oklahoma, April 18th through the 21st. Admission and parking are free. Tour over 50 fully staged new RVs starting at less than $5 a day. Plus, take advantage of special RV Expo pricing. Participate in the ultimate RV giveaway for your chance to win a new RV and more. Don't miss the Camping World RV Expo at the Choctaw Casino and Resort in Pecola, Oklahoma, April 18th through the 21st. Learn more at CampingWorld.com slash Pecola. Certain restrictions apply. For more details, visit CampingWorld.com slash Pecola. It's spring cleaning sell time at Chelco Outdoors. Savings from 50 to 75% off on select clothing, footwear, hunting and fishing equipment, casual clothing, hunting clothing, work clothing for men, women, and children, work boots, safety shoes, western boots, all 50 to 75% off. Rods, rails, baits, hunting equipment, all 50 to 75% off. Select group of handguns, rifles, and shotguns in the firearms department at cost or below. Don't miss the big spring cleaning sale at Chelco Outdoors in Fort Smith. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your helm, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. Sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. Drive a compact SUV that has more style, power, and technology with the 2023 Buick Envision at Harry Robinson Buick GMC right now. Get 1.9% financing for 60 months on remaining 2023 Buick Envisions or choose up to $3,500 in factory discounts. The Buick Envision, it's all about you and designed to inspire. Experience the new Buick at Harry Robinson Buick GMC. Exit 11 off of I-540 in Fort Smith. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must-try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still on the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. we got a game to call. Legendary players, college baseball's best fans, SEC championships, ballpark nachos, hot dogs, calling the hogs. There is nothing like Arkansas Razorback baseball at Baumwalker Stadium. Baseball is here, and head coach Dave Van Horn and the top-ranked Hogs are back on the diamond for one of the best home schedules in program history. Texas Tech, Florida, and more. Single-game tickets are now available at ArkansasRazorbacks.com. We'll see you at Baumwalker Stadium. Your home is your biggest asset, so when you decide to add a sunroom, a patio cover, a new driveway, or new windows, you need to call a company you can trust. Sawyer's has been part of your community for over 30 years. They're insured, licensed, and have 100% financing for all of their products. Take all the worry out of your next project. Call Sawyer's and let them handle it from permitting to completion. Sawyer's, serving the River Valley in northwest Arkansas with a full showroom located in Fort Smith or online at sawyers-sunrooms.com. 
Advanced Mechanical Performance, your premier UTV, off-road, truck, and Jeep repair facility. Whether it's a lift kit, an oil change, or a complete makeover of your machine, go see Cody and the gang at AMP and get it right the first time. These guys know what they're doing and are doing what they know. Advanced Mechanical Performance, 3201 Wheeler Avenue in Fort Smith. Call them today at 434-4161. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 953. <laughs> Just rally around me and love. She sent the message of love. She said, I love up the way you move. I love the way you rap. Boom, boom. Ramona, please step back. Now she's my room. Welcome back into Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Studios. Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we make your dreams come true. Back on Halftime, wrapping up our number two, 877-377-6963. Calls or texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. <laughs> Joe Johnson may be on the Cal staff. I love the idea of Joe Johnson being on the staff. But if he's on staff, what about Ronnie Brewer? They can, there's room for both. There is room, for, room both. for both. There's going to be guys. money for both Play of them if that's one. the case. That's, uh, man, yeah. I mean, Brewer's, both of those guys, they, uh, the thing about Brewer and, and being a, you know, I got to be a teammate of his, played against him in high school and, and, and got to play, be a teammate of his. He's one of the smartest players that, that I played, you know, even at that age, his IQ. So there's no surprise to me, Phil, that he, he got into coaching, you know. He, he, and then Joe Johnson, you can't. You can't play in the NBA for 20 years and not be a smart player. That's just it's, <laughs> That's right. right. You can't you you can't last in any sport for 20 years and not be incredibly intelligent intelligent on how it is that you're doing. It just turns into second nature. And then you always got somebody to scrimmage against. I mean, you want to talk about if the team's any good, put Joe and Ronnie out there and and, and beat those guys first. Well, again, and, and nothing is nothing is confirmed about Joe Johnson. And he really nothing's even confirmed about anybody on Cal staff. It's just reports. You know, there hasn't been any kind of a, of a press release from, from the university yet, but you got to have guys in place right now because they're out visiting. I saw Cal is at the overtime elite uh, combine. Uh, a number of the kids that committed to him were playing there. I know Carter Knox was playing there. So I don't know. Maybe that'll be the next one. It feels, you know, you got, you got a guy who committed to Cal and played for half a year for him in, in Ivisic. Now the next, I think, maybe one of these or two of these incoming freshmen. I wonder when all those coaches get together. Cause I, I know you had said when Bobby Knight walked into a room, uh, when a lot of other coaches were in there, he was still kind of the, you know, it's Bobby Knight, you know, the general when Co coach Cal has got to be kind of close like that, right? Like he walks in there, there's, he kind of demands the room. He ha has a presence about him. Yeah. I mean, you can see that even just on camera. Mm -hmm. He's got that. He's going to be the, the report. And this comes from Joe Tipton. Um, these coaches are at the Overtime Elite Spring Combine later today. Uh, Damon Stoudemire. Oh, there you go. Kim English. He's now Providence. Arizona Wildcat, Damon Stoudemire. Yeah. I'd like to see Providence and USC uh, play They're against They're in that each old other. Atlantic 10. Mike White. Bruce Pearl will be there. Pearl's got that kind of personality, too. And Cal. I'm a... As a basketball coach, I'm a Bruce Pearl fan. I think he's a true players coach. All his players love him. You know, you, that's that's one thing you can see about the, about the coaches is afterwards when the players talk about him, all the players love Coach Bruce Pearl. 877-377-6963. Calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. We're into the third hour in just a moment. Thank you. 
Largemouth bass will be spawning soon at ponds and lakes all over Arkansas and Oklahoma. One of the best lures to catch them on at this time is the famous Yum Dinger. We make them by the truckloads in Fort Smith in three, four, five, and six inch sizes, and they are in tackle boxes of bass anglers all over the U.S. and all over the world. Wacky rigging the five inch model can't be beat for spawning bass. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LordNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place. The Yum Dinger. Come on along, head for the mountains of Bush Beer. Head for the mountains, it's cold and it's smooth and it's waiting for you. Come on, head for the mountains of Bush Beer. Head for the mountains of Bush Head for the mountains of Bush Life. Me. Enjoy responsibly. Copyright 2022. Anna Bush, Bush, and Bush Life Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Are you tired of the overcrowded fitness centers? Would you like a fitness option where you can actually work out? Then let's hang out. The Hangout is Sportsmith's newest fitness facility. It has an 8,000 square foot gym, indoor tennis, pickleball, and basketball with more sports coming soon. The Hangout offers group and individual training in the gym and boasts three active tennis pros to help you grow your game. Stop in today at 5400 Gary Street or thehangoutfs.com for more information be a part of something different fitness sports and more let's hang out who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama you need a team of agents with decades of experience commitment and of course tens of thousands in marketing you need the limber team home of arkansas's only instant offer program get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours limber real estate group is the number one team in arkansas with over one billion dollars sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row serving all of northwest arkansas missouri and now the river valley find out more at limberteam.com l-i-m B-I-R-D. Did you get us switched over to shelter insurance? Actually, I found a deal online. You did? Does your deal come with award-winning customer service? Oh, not sure. Does the deal include a local agent? Doesn't actually say. Can we create a customized plan that fits our needs? Let's just call the local shelter agent. For insurance that fits just right, find a shelter agent near you. See agent Chris Dooley in Fort Smith. ESPN Arkansas weather. For today, showers and thunderstorms will be rumbling on through our high temperatures today, mid to upper 70s. We will start to dry things out tonight. The showers and thunderstorms ending from north to south, but overnight low will drop down in the low to mid 60s. And then we're back to sunshine Wednesday, a high low to mid 80s. I'm Sally Russell with your forecast on ESPN Arkansas. The weather is brought to you by Forest Green Incorporated, committed to setting the standard of excellence since 1936. KERX Paris Fort Smith. This is Halftime, coming at you from the Crabtree RV Studios on ESPN 95.3. Coming to you live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Streaming on hitthatline.com. You know the thing in here, that's the perspective. Live from the Bush Lights video. Don't ask me if I'm all right. What do you think dominate? And we not doing it. We're going to go get one and celebrate on somebody else's tail. Both well, said you had very motivational words at halftime. It's it. halftime with Bill Olson and Matt Jones. From the bottom of my toes to the top of my head. I have zero respect for saying no ma at halftime. Vintage Matt Jones. Here we go. Right now, let's take the field. Politics on the McClarty Daniel Hotline. 877-377-6963. Now here's Phil Olson and Matt Jones. Back on halftime, it's our third and final hour. And, uh, yeah, man, it's a, it's a long year. It's a long day. Got up at 4.30 this morning, Matt. These Mondays uh, these Mondays end up very, very long days uh, for me. So I had to break it up a little bit. You know, we do the Bases Loaded podcast with Bubba that comes out each Tuesday. It's out right now. And it takes some time. You record in the morning. I do the show. Mondays are kind of like my only days 
during baseball season to even like see my kids. You know, for those who don't know, I live in Little Rock, so I'm going back and forth. I'm gone for these next six days because the baseball team's at home two in a row, travel to South Carolina Thursday, and then play the game Cox Friday through Sunday. So these these Mondays, I would like to, you know, try to get reacquainted with the children a little bit. 14-year-old girl, 11-year-old boy, and I'm working on the podcast too. What I've, what I've tried to do yesterday was let's not work on the podcast today. Let's actually look the kids in the face. Let's look them in the eye. <clears throat> so like, all right, maybe maybe you grew, maybe you grew an inch. They don't grow quite as quickly as they used to. Do y'all do the the thing? Do you have a spot in the house where you uh, measure them? And- I don't do that because uh, I don't own. Fair enough. Fair enough. I don't want to put put myself in that position. Yeah, no, I've never done that. It's all just memory. And it, 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 there used to be moments where, heck, when they were babies or or even just like toddlers, I'd go on a on an eight day road trip with the Travs. You come back and like, who's this kid? Who who is this with the weird eyes and everything? And what happened? Uh, it's not quite like that. But so I tried to just not worry about that yesterday. Make dinner for them, sit around, talk, just, you know, trying to not make it like too big of a deal. But, you know, they're my kids. I want to want them to feel like uh, we're a family unit of some sort. So then got it before 30 in the morning to finish to do the podcast. And yeah, just dragging a little bit when we get into the third hour. Usually third hour. I got plenty of energy. I'm kind of hanging on. I'm, I'm a coat on a hanger. I'll make it, though. I promise you I'll make it. Yeah, I'm a road warrior, Chris. That's right. I'll stay on the road as long as, long as I possibly can. The Bucks will be without Giannis is the top headline right now on ESPN. It's, it's uh, from sources, so nothing confirmed. Got to always say it's sources, which means Woj gets the news. I, the Bucks. I don't understand what what happened. I mean, you fire your coach midway through the season. You go get Doc Rivers. I mean, Andrew. If Giannis is hurt, obviously there's nothing they can do about that. I saw where they were. They were talking about getting going ahead and moving on from Dame Lillard. You know, he really didn't want to go there. Uh, you lost your best defensive guard and Drew Holiday uh, to your rival. I, I just. I, I think it's the Boston Celtics world, Phil, uh, on the in the Eastern Conference. I just. I think that's the horse. Uh, if they're healthy, I do not see anybody getting past the the Boston Celtics. You know, it also looks like the the coaching chain that started with Andy Enfield leaving Southern Cal for SMU. Really, it started with Rob Lanier being fired by SMU. Looks like this chain is going to end with BYU apparently hiring Kevin Young who's uh, the associate head coach for the Phoenix Suns. The NBA is what ends it, huh? You got to go get somebody. Yeah. Yeah, they was just going to take another coach from somewhere else, and then they're going to hire somebody else. So how many jobs was that then? That was SMU to USC to Arkansas to Kentucky to BYU. Five. That's, and that's just from one, one coach being let go by a program that, that, that viewed themselves in a different light because they're moving up to the ACC in SMU. Yeah, and you know, if you look at Arkansas's last, you know, under Musselman, his last four years and or five years, I guess, man, last year wasn't as good in that 16, 17. I, I, I wonder, Phil, who who out of USC, out of Kentucky, uh, who, 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 who does the best over the next three years? You know, who, who has a chance? Because I... I think Coach Musselman could win a, a national championship at USC. You know, you go and buy the right players in this NIL world. You go and you get the two of the right dudes and have a couple complimentary guys. Uh, you, you, you could have a chance. Just, you got to strike lightning, you know, lightning in a bottle. I just I want, I want to see what that Big Ten basketball schedule looks like now. That, that's a thing that nobody else has to do. You know, you, you, maybe you got to travel from, like, uh, Auburn and Alabama. Where do they play? In Spokane? I think they played in Spokane. They, they, you don't have to make any sort of that travel during league play. I, I just cannot wait to see what the Big Ten basketball schedule looks like because you're going to have to send teams literally on a week-long road trip, maybe longer than that, to play Rutgers and Maryland uh, yeah, if and you maybe, play a, or Penn State, one of those schools out that way. If you play an 8 o'clock Wednesday night game or, or your 9 o'clock, whatever that is, then you got to play a Saturday noon game on the on the road. Wouldn't you just stay, wouldn't you just stay out there? Yeah, well, yeah. so my, the, the only reason I brought it up is, is that an impediment to recruiting? Should, I, I don't think so. You don't think so? No, that's, it's first class. When, when they, all this travel and, and Coach Muss, an NBA guy, how much you travel, we, when you travel, 
Uh, and this is 20 years ago that I traveled with the, you know, the Razorback basketball. But it's uh, it's all for they take care of you. Well, what what about so what about the idea that there are there are only a few teams that are going to be making these sort of cross country trips? Stanford and Cal will be doing it to go play on the East Coast in the ACC. Stanford or pardon me, um, uh, Oregon, Washington, USC, UCLA will be making these kind of trips to Rutgers. Well, and and, and Rutgers, Maryland, Penn State. I mean, even Ohio State. I know that's Midwest, but it's heck of a lot. SMU, ACC, right? That's right. Yeah. I mean, it's just no other schools are making those kind of trips. And I just wonder if, if at some point that has an effect on a team. Because, I mean, jet lag's a real thing. Um, there are reasons why some NFL teams go out to the West Coast for the full week before they play. Um, and it's just, it's just, a, it's just a thought about that. But, but I do think Musk can get USC to a point to where they'll be one of the better programs in the Big Ten. But, but what does that mean? You know, a level under, under uh, Purdue right now. A, a couple of levels. Purdue's going to come back down to earth. They're not, without Edie. They're not winning the Big Ten this year. Purdue's not. Yeah, yeah. I think Arkansas will be in a really good place. I don't, I don't know what to expect out of Mark Pope as a coach in the SEC. I really don't. So the SEC's I, I, absolutely loaded, man. Just absolute Texas and Oklahoma coming in, and then just the coaching change, the dynamics, and and then Arkansas has the number one coach in the SEC. You know, if you if you listed SEC coaches, we have the number one. It's like you just woke up. Whoa, what just happened? Calipari's here. I think Arkansas and USC kind of made out pretty well as far as the coaches they got, and, I think and, so. and where they fit in because I think Must fits into Los Angeles. I think he fits into LA very well. Brent is in Searcy, and he's on our McClarty Daniel hotline. Hi, Brent. What's going on? Hey, Phil, Matt. I um, I have two questions. Uh, first, and the, uh, first of all, Miles Slusher transferred to Louisville first, or committed to him before he went to Colorado. And uh, second, Matt, will you explain to me how this NBA tournament works? If you lose tonight, are you out, or how does that go? Well, what you can do is if you lose tonight and then you have to play the other game, like if what if the Lakers lose, then there's no way they could be the 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 seven seed, and and then you would have to take on Denver. So that's why you want to lose. So then they, it's a little bit about matchups, I think, in the NBA, a hundred percent. And the Lakers match up better with Oklahoma City than they do Denver. So it's like, would you want to lose? I mean, you're going to have to beat them anyways. Denver is going to be in the Western Conference Final, but it's getting on the right side of the bracket. This format kind of, I mean, its I know it's not the same thing, but it reminds me a little bit about um, baseball regional tournaments. You know, the first round of the of the NCAA baseball tournament where you have to explain what the format is. Usually it's pretty easy to explain a playoff format. Is, or is this a five-game series or a seven-game series? And leave it at that. For this, that's why I don't look at this as real playoffs. Because if you can try to lose to position yourself better, what are we talking about here? I thought playoffs mean lose and you're done. So if they lose, if whoever loses tonight, they're still they're still playing, right? It's not elimination. It'd be uh, your your guess is as good as mine. There's 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 no question about it. Uh, the playing games, I don't even I don't count them as playoff games yet. So you just kind of I'm like, tell me when it starts. When the real playoffs yeah, tell start. me when they start. When it's a series. We had 82 of these. It's fake drama. It's it's fake news. It's it's they're trying to have some type of theater, uh, but it's 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 not theater. I couldn't agree more. And thank you guys. All right, Brent, thank you very much. Yeah, it's television executives sitting in a room. You know what people like? People like postseason basketball. They saw the basketball. baseball. No, it's what happened. The baseball play-in game, it's it's whatever that one game, wow, that's that something clicks, and basketball's like, well, we got to do that too. You know, they got the end-season tournament. They're just trying to find ways to get more viewers and, and, and more storylines. Well, we're going to get more views and ears because Bill King from Nashville Sports Radio will be joining halftime in just a moment. This is halftime. You're home for every Razorback football game. College to midfield, the 40, the 30, college at the 20, to the 10. To the five, to the pylon, touchdown, Arkansas! As you can tell, this means a lot, you know. 
only on ESPN 95.3. And we're back with the action. Coke Zero Sugar might be the best Coke ever. That's right, Jim. With an irresistible taste and zero sugar, Coke Zero Sugar is a must try for any sports fan. So make sure you... Wait, Jim, I didn't mean try it right now. We're still in the air. Mmm, best Coke ever? Take a taste, Jen. Really? No, not right now, Jen. We got a game to call. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's number one mobile app for placing sports wagers. In Arkansas, seven out of every ten dollars placed on a sporting bet app is with Bet Saracen because Bet Saracen offers more ways to win and more ways to get paid and faster. Find your winners on Bet Saracen and look for my double R prop bet specials. I pick them and you win them. Bet Saracen is Arkansas's favorite sports wagering app. Gambling problem? Call 800 522 4700. Who can you trust to sell your home for the most money with the least amount of drama? You need a team of agents with decades of experience, commitment, and of course, tens of thousands in marketing. You need the Limbird team, home of Arkansas's only instant offer program. Get a cash offer on your home in only 72 hours. Limbird Real Estate Group is the number one team in Arkansas with over $1 billion sold and voted best of the best 10 years in a row. Serving all of Northwest Arkansas, Missouri, and now the the River Valley. Find out more at LimbirdTeam.com. L-I-M-B-I-R-D. Advanced Mechanical Performance, your premier UTV, off-road, truck, and Jeep repair facility. Whether it's a lift kit, an oil change, or a complete makeover of your machine, go see Cody and the gang at AMP and get it right the first time. These guys know what they're doing and are doing what they know. Advanced Mechanical Performance, 3201 Wheeler Avenue in Fort Smith. Call them today at 434-4161. Arkansas Fuel Injection in Fort Smith has been providing quality work for all new and rebuilt diesel pumps and injectors for over 25 years. They are a certified diesel shop with a team of quality technicians that ensure the highest quality worksmanship and warranties all their work. They are open Monday through Friday 8 to 5 and has emergency service available 24 hours a day. For all your diesel pump, fuel injection, and parts need, stop by Arkansas Fuel Injection, 6300 South 29th Street, Fort Smith. Call them today at 1-800-817-7709. Arkansas Fuel Injection. Do you need gutters but think they're too expensive or that you need to get the soffit or fascia ready? No worries. Call the gutter guy. He does it all. No need to call multiple companies to get the right gutters for your home. Call the gutter guy. Quality, low maintenance, leaf-free gutters with a five-year warranty. The gutter guy also does vinyl siding and windows. The gutter guy. Over 30 years experience. Call 226-1259. Call the gutter guy. Sunday morning. You can smell it. Game day. And the brisket you've been smoking since last night. A day to be with family, aka fellow football fans. Traditions make Sundays easy to enjoy. Beers do too. Bud Light. Easy to Sunday, easy to enjoy. Bud Light is the official beer sponsor of the NFL. Enjoy responsibly. 21 plus, copyright 2023, Anheuser-Busch, Bud Light Beer, St. Louis, Missouri. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 953. <laughs> Welcome back to halftime with Phil Elson and Matt Jones. Got a question or comment for the guys? Call or text on the McCarty Daniel Hotline, 877 377 6963. Let's get back to the show with the voice of Arkansas Razorback baseball, Bill Elson, and Razorback football legend, Matt Jones. Standing by on the McClarty Daniel hotline, and with us each Tuesday is Bill King, the king of college football talk and morning host on Nashville Sports Radio, 6 to 9, Monday through Friday. Good afternoon, Bill, and happy portal opening day. How are you? Hey, guys. What's up? 
The portal's up, man. You got uh, you got. Let's look like seven players already leaving Colorado uh, today, including a former Razorback in in Miles Slusher. Uh, is do you view this portal window uh, in an identical way to the December portal window? I know that this one is shorter, but do you think you get the same kind of player that leaves after spring ball? That's a good question. I don't know if I've got enough data to determine that. I don't think we've been doing it long, at least for me, to know if this portal is different as far as the level of players you may get. I think the spring portal, the 15-day window, is indicative of spring practice where either one of two things has happened. You've looked at the depth chart, you don't like your situation, or they told you to go. It's one of the two. And maybe it's more maybe it's more of that in this window than maybe in December. Hey, um, Bill, what, what about the difference between Ole Miss and Georgia and how the two did their spring game with, with, with Ole Miss kind of doing a, a Pro Bowl thing, Georgia hitting? or wh- Which one are you kind of in favor of? I, about 30 years ago, divorced myself from spring games. I was sitting at a spring game realizing I was wasting four hours of my life watching fake football. Now, I don't really – Lane Kiffin doesn't want to show anybody anything, not, not that you would anyways. I don't really have a problem with him just trying to have a good time because some games are fake, guys. They're, they're real games. I don't need to see Carson back. I, I just – but but if, if you said, Matt, if you said, Bill, I'm making you go to a game, you got to go, I'd rather go see you what Georgia was doing than a hot dog eating contest. I mean, I just, that's not where my interest is. But it's also indicative of maybe what a team needs. Even I mean, Sam Pittman's talked openly that the team needs to be more physical than they were the year before. They're hitting more. Yeah. They're tackling with the ground more in spring. So, I mean, and, and look, I mean, they, they weren't, they were tackling in the spring game at Arkansas that just weren't tackling Taylor green for obvious reasons. Right. But, I mean, that, that right. to me, it's like it says, what does your program need? And Arkansas needed some toughness. Yeah, and, and Ole Miss has got a very veteran roster and a very veteran transfer port group. And I'm sure they just want to chill a little bit. And, Kirby, you know, Kirby's, a, Kirby's got a lot of old school in him. So I'm not surprised. That's the way he's going to do things. Kirby's not going to be the guy. And you remember Kirby and uh, Lane were together at Alabama for a few years, a couple of years there. So they know each other, but two totally different personalities for sure. Hey, Bill, uh, w- I was I was wondering about LSU's defense. Have they made any uh, progression? Have they solidified anything on that? Because that defense was pretty bad last year, and they've they've overhauled. They they lost some of their coaches, or I mean, they got rid of and kind of went a different direction. Do you think they're they're going to be able to to be a little better on the defensive side of the ball this year? I do. Their main concern is up front, and they're going to be in this current portal taking defensive linemen. They've already had some visit, I believe. But that is a big – they need big bodies. And, and as we all know, that position is very difficult. They're not readily available ever. But they're going to they're gonna fill the void. I'd say they're going to bring in two, three defensive linemen in this current portal. But they do feel like they've solidified. They've become more fundamental. But, Matt, you're right. That's the side of the ball that's clearly the question for them heading into the season. What do you feel – Brian Kelly's standing is over at, at, at LSU. You know, they got, they got the division title in, in a year that it felt like it was a down year. Maybe that's just because Alabama wasn't as, as good as expected and LSU beat them. But, you know, they've yeah. been good. But I guess, you know, LSU just expects greatness. They expect national champions, and they expect that in every program. And he has yet to even really come close on delivering yet. I think that he is still – in the honeymoon period. Now, I know we're heading into, what, year three? And uh, I think we're, we're towards the end of it. But, no, I think he's still incredibly popular. I still think they all believe 
in what he can get done there. They have had some personnel shortcomings that he's had to bridge the gap with. They've got a phenomenal, already a phenomenal 25 class committed, top running back in America, top quarterback in America. I think the, the future trends well. Now, this year might get a little choppy. This year may not be, probably won't be the year they break through. It's very unlikely, but I think the future looks really good. We had a shakeup, a little bit of a shakeup in college baseball, but I, I kind of want to get your thoughts right now on the SEC. Who do you, A&M's number one right now. Are you, are you a fan? What What's A&M's really good at this year? I think they're probably the most consistent team pitching and hitting. Those That, that combination right now. I think you look at Arkansas, you think about the phenomenal pitching. Not always hitting. You look at Tennessee, and I don't think there's a better hitting team in America. And I think this team right now probably hits the ball better than that team two years ago that broke all kinds of records. Their pitching is not what it needs to be, though. And I think that's going to be a problem. But I think A&M guys at the moment, what are we, halfway into intra-league play, probably is the most consistent team. And I'm skipping out of Kentucky. I, I love what Kentucky's doing. I'm still – needing a little bit more data. They have a huge series in Lexington see this weekend. That will be interesting. Yeah, that'll be big. But, I mean, A&M, they literally took Vanderbilt out to the woodshed this last weekend. I mean, that's what got them number one. Not just the sweep, right. but that they just they kicked the crap out of Vanderbilt. And that's the thing that, Correct. I mean, I think I, I'm when I'm looking at baseball, I'm like, did you win the game? Did you score more runs than the other team? That's what I'm looking at. What right. I think, what what a lot of fans right now are looking at is that A and M is and Kentucky, in a lot of cases, are destroying yep. their competition. And again, Kentucky guys is not a long ball team. They they they, they small ball you and they run and they're very well coached. And hey, I, you know, doesn't matter how you put it up on the scoreboard, be scoring, but it's a little bit different, a little bit different, and. Um, Guys, it's going to be fun these next several. What do we have? Four or five weeks left of the regular season. It goes fast, and you would know because you broadcast it every day. But it's 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 a rapidly moving year. We got five weeks uh, five weeks of the regular season left. Yeah, Hogs are in South Carolina wow. this next weekend, and uh, <clears throat> still get Kentucky, still get A and M, still get Mississippi State and Florida. Florida is the team that's fallen off though. That nobody saw this coming. I think they are they're right at 500 or a game over and they were number 2 to start the season so that that one kind of came out of nowhere but yeah the Razorback schedule bill is uh is incredibly backloaded right now. It is and um it's it's guys I tell you it's like I mentioned about 8 10 years ago I started adopting baseball I had no I, I did not know that was happening to me. It just it just organically happened. I love it. I, I, I even planned Tuesday and Wednesday night games to, to have on TV, even though most of them are garbage, right? I plan them and watch them. I find myself doing that. Well, you're going to be – then you want, you ought to be watching ESPN2 tonight at 7 because it's Arkansas hosting Texas Tech. Ravitch and Kyle Peterson are on the call, uh, so that, 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 could be, that could be worth your time. Did you ever did did you grow up at all a major league baseball fan, Bill? Dodgers, yeah. In the in the seventies and eighties, I was a Dodger fan, and when they won it in eighty eight, I guess Oral Hershiser's year, mm -hmm. I remember that. And then, of course, the Dodgers now have Mookie Betts, who is from Nashville, played high school ball over Overton. Now, I had no idea he'd be that kind of ball player, but but I but I don't follow this. I mean, I, today, I couldn't tell you if they play, when they play, who they're pitching. I, I, I lost Major League Baseball as a passion probably during the steroid era. I just, I, I was done. Well, if you were a Dodgers fan in the 80s, then you probably, you, I mean, Whitey Ford, uh, Whitey, Whitey Ford, Whitey Herzog passed away. Uh, or I think it was this morning or late last night, age 94, um, and wow. you know, it's interesting you, you bring up how Kentucky plays baseball. That's the style of baseball that Whitey managed, you know, get guys on base, steal the base, move them around, hit and run. Not a lot of home yep. runs. Like that's exactly the style Kentucky plays. 
I remember a playoff game between St. Louis and the Dodgers. Rosie Smith hit a key home run. Ozzie, the the greatest probably defensive shortstop ever, and he hit a home run against my Dodgers. That was also a final blow. Bill, I think I even know the pitcher he hit it off of. I think he hit it off of Tom Needenfuhr. <laughs> I think I remember this home right. run. I think it was the only left-handed home run Ozzie hit all year. Yeah, I remember this one. And no, I, no, no, no. From his little league career till then, the right. only one he ever hit. That's, it. that's right. And I still remember the Jack Buck call on the home run by the Wizard. I still remember that. That's right. Oh, uh, that one hurt. That hurt. It did. I'm sure it did. But we, we we're in Cardinal Country here, so people here were celebrating like it was the second coming. Bill, appreciate you, oh, man. Yeah. We'll, we'll leave it there. Always always enjoy your Thank visits. You. Thank you. Thank you, boys. Thank you, Bill. Bill King, Nashville Sports Radio, noted former Dodger fan. 877-377-6963 if you got any thoughts on that. How are you not a baseball fan and not have an Ozzie Smith story, you know? I mean, every everybody you talk to, if you like baseball, there's some time that Ozzie Smith did something that you're like, I remember that. No. The year I interned for the Pirates was, his, was the year he retired. Mm-hmm. And... <clears throat> There's only so many players where when you were watching them, it wasn't that was Ozzie Smith. It was Ozzie freaking Smith. That's how I felt the about wizard, Tony Gwynn. Yeah. Well, so, uh, another man, Tony Gwynn, just said in the in the batter's box, there was none better. But he had a retirement tour, just very much the same way Kareem did. So the last game that Ozzie played, or it would have been the second to last game he played in Pittsburgh because the next game was the last game Leland manages a Pirates manager, and they turned that into a thing. They had lit, we literally had an Ozzie Smith day at Three Rivers Stadium, and he does the, the backflip and everything when he came out there, and I, I put together a special scorecard that I bought from the – I was working for the team. I bought the scorecard from the, from the scorecard hawker downstairs and put together a special one and, I, and, and got it signed by Ozzie, and it said, to Phil, best wishes, Ozzie Smith. I still have that thing somewhere. I don't know where it is, but it's somewhere in my house. That's like um... – when uh, Ronaldo was at um, at Juventus, there he he would go he on a road trip. He'd be somewhere playing Sinsalo or a team that wasn't very good, and they would score, and they'd be like, "It's all right, Ronaldo scored," you know, because he's got he's on his he, he he's that he's that good. I'm just trying to think of some of those players from those Cardinals teams. I wasn't a Cardinals fan, and I never will be. But growing up in Pittsburgh, you could appreciate how much fun those teams were to watch. Oh, Tommy Herr at second base. It was Ozzie Smith's double playmate. Uh, Jack Clark at first base. Terry Pendleton at third. Terry P. Uh, you know, Willie McGee and Vince Coleman. Who am I forgetting as far as the other outfielder was concerned? Andy Van Slyke at times, and then they traded him to my team. Sugar Ray Lankford. Well, that would have been in the 90s. I think yeah. that's probably yeah. after Herzog was managing them. Joaquin Andujar, John Tudor. Yep. Bringing back all those memories. 877-377-6963. Calls and texts on a McClarty Daniel hotline. It's the home stretch. Halftime is right back after this. This is halftime. You can now download our new app in the iTunes or Google Play Store. Listen anytime and anywhere on your favorite mobile device. Just search Hit That Line now. Testosterone levels naturally drop in men with age, often causing a lack of energy, anxiety, weight gain, diminished libido, and performance issues. Don't suffer in silence. Call Maverick Male Medical in Fayetteville today for more about testosterone or weight loss therapy. They focus on your excellent care, optimal health, and performance. Call Maverick Male Medical today at 305-8206. That's 305-8206. Or go to maverickmalemedical.com. It's a mystery where Old Spice finds its amazing scents like Himalayan sea salt, but I'm thrilled they have because no other body wash exfoliates and moisturizes 24-7 like Old Spice Gentleman's Himalayan sea salt body wash. Man, if only there was a mountain range separating the Indian subcontinent from the Tibetan plateau where I could hide my Old Spice and keep my family from stealing it, my impossibly smooth skin will finally be safe. You're listening to Halftime Live from the Crabtree RV Center Studios. Crabtree RV Center, where RVing is life. 
Riley Farm Dental at the entrance to Riley Farms provides every type of dental care and procedure for you and your family from general dentistry, braces, implants, and cosmetics. Dr. Sparkman, Davis, and Farmer give all of their patients better lives with a better smile, more confident, and a comfortable experience every time. Riley Farm Dental, 5901 Riley Park Drive, Suite A at the entrance to Riley Farms. Now offering same-day crowns. Call 226-3500 for an appointment or visit RileyFarmDental.com. Got a pest? Call West. If you have pest or termite problems in your home, call West today and learn how their 50 years combined experience can help solve your problems with competitive pricing and quality services. All designed with your pets and children in mind. Call today and schedule your free estimate. They even offer Saturday services and long life attic pest control. Call 782-7291. West Termite and Pest Control. Protecting your home health and peace of mind. Hi, this is Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing and Construction. That small roofing company my father started 45 years ago has now become one of the largest roofing companies in America by following one rule, the golden rule. No one can install a better roof at a better price, a better warranty than Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Let our local family serve your family. Shamrock Roofing and Construction. Call today or visit us online at shamrockroofer.com. Insurance company throwing you a curveball? Are they crowding the plate and not offering you a fair settlement? If you've been injured in a car wreck, you need an experienced attorney to fight for you. I'm Jackie Mock with Mock Legal Solutions. Licensed in Arkansas and Oklahoma, no win, no fee. Call Mock Legal Solutions today for your free consultation. 479-769-1505. Real advice, reasonable price. Your home is your biggest asset, so when you decide to add a sunroom, a patio cover, a new driveway, or new windows, you need to call a company you can trust. Sawyer's has been part of your community for over 30 years. They're insured, licensed, and have 100% financing for all of their products. Take all the worry out of your next project. Call Sawyer's and let them handle it from permitting to completion. Sawyer's, serving the River Valley in northwest Arkansas with a full showroom located in Fort Smith or online at sawyers-sunrooms.com. Do you need an oil change but don't have time to drop off your car? S&J Express Lube will let you sit in your car while they do the work, and it only takes about 15 minutes with no appointment needed. Prices start at $35.99 for a 20-point inspection service. S&J Express Lube is open Monday through Friday 9 to 6 and Saturdays 8 till noon. You'll find them at 14818 Highway 71 South in Jenny Lynn. Check them out on Facebook, too. S&J Express Lube, your authorized cash scroll dealer in Sebastian County. They are waiting on you now. It's your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 953. <laughs> Three, take my hand and come with me because you look so fine that I really want to make you mine. So fine that I really want to make you mine. Fine halftime on 99.5 in Northwest Arkansas, 95.3 in Fort Smith in the River Valley, 96.3 in Hot Springs in Central Arkansas, 104.3 in Harrison and Mountain Home, and everywhere on hitthatline.com. Join the conversation. Call or text ESPN Arkansas on the McClarty Daniel Hotline, 877-377-6963. Now back to the hosts. Here's Phil Elson and Matt Jones. I want to thank those who texted in uh, with uh, the knowledge that the elevation in Lubbock, Texas is 3,256 feet. I uh, did my own little piece of internet research if that's the right way to put it and Fayetteville Arkansas is 1401 foot so you got about what about an 1800 foot differential I think the wind has to be uh the wind's got to be a factor as far as hitting why, in Lubbock like it is in Midland because they're not far from each other why did I think Fayetteville would be higher up on the mountain than Lubbock Texas well I think with Lubbock it's sort of on a, just a slight you know, you're you're going from the plains out thought, towards the Rockies, yeah. and it's just going up a okay. little bit the whole way. Okay, because when bit. I when I, I've never been to to West Texas, so to speak. Like, well, I've like, never but, been to Lubbock. That's yeah, one of the parts of yeah. Texas I've never been to. Not been to Amarillo, 
Not been to Lubbock. Haven't been to that panhandle part very much. Yeah, I've been to El Paso. Been to Corpus. That's not that's not quite all the way south. Been to San Antonio. Been all the way to DFW, East Texas, Midland, which is West Texas. Not love it. Is is Tech the Red Raiders? I, I'm assuming they're still the Red Raiders. Are they, they are. are they a team that that are going to be postseason bound? What, That's how a good team you could face in a regional. Okay, no doubt. Oh yeah, and I've seen Arkansas play them twice in the College World Series. So uh, T- Tadlock's got a great program there, and you got a couple of Razorbacks who were playing for them before. I thought we got Texas Tech's catcher from from last year. and their ace, their ace pitcher. They Ma- came came to Arkansas. Mason yeah. Molina. Okay, was their Friday night guy. And Hudson White was their was their catcher for the last couple yeah. of years. Now they're at Arkansas. Now Molina won't play against them. I'm assuming White will catch one of these two games. Well, you if you're Texas Tech, do you throw one at his ribs? <laughs> like that's kind of that's just he has to know that when he gets up there, you give him a little wink, like you know something's coming, like in Field of Dreams. You give him the special that, sign. I had to I had to back him up off the plate. Well, there's not a special sign. So we used to joke about this. I never did this as a kid because we wouldn't have done that, but. You know, you got a sign. One was a fastball, two is a curveball, three is a slider, four is a changeup. You have an indicator, and then there's a very special signal when you want to hit somebody. I don't like this guy. Yeah. It's just one finger that gets extended, much in the same way that, oh, C unit. If you would have actually watched the right naked gun movie, you would know because there are liter- literally Lieutenant Drebin in the movie has an has uh, instructions to a student driver of how to flip the bird to a trucker. They called her a stupid broad. So that those are the kind of instructions I'm giving you here. You don't need that anymore. Now, now it's a it's a whisper in their head because they get the little little speaker in their hat that tells them what pitch to throw. And they got the thing, this button like a video game. Yeah. I would want I would want uh I would want Clint Eastwood. Morgan Freeman's voice. No, I'd want yeah. Clint Eastwood's voice. Ooh, do you feel lucky? Well, do you punk? want you to hit this guy right here in the ribs just like that huh that sounds about right i only trust my pistol i don't think they're gonna hit him uh, i don't think they're gonna hit him i'm being told i'm not missing anything in lubbock <laughs> so i didn't feel like i missed anything in midland except the wind blowing at 30 miles an hour and basically taking pop-ups and blowing them over the fence that has to be a little bit of what's going on at, at texas tech you don't you don't score like almost 13 runs a game at home and then score a little over six on the road. If mother nature is not a huge reason why your numbers are the way that they are has to be a reason why their numbers won't be like that. These next two days, Robert in Fort Smith is on the McClarty Daniel hotline, Robert real quick. What's going on real quick guys, Brian steakhouse. In Lubbock. I'm not going to tell you it's the best, but it's pretty cool. And they cook steaks outside. I've been there when Oklahoma State, Texas Tech. That's not one of those places where you cook your own steak, is it? No, no. You don't cook it. They cook it. They bring it to you. They just cook it outside. Never quite understood a place like that. Why don't you just do it at home? you got to get the table-side guacamole as well. Well, You have to make the guacamole no, yourself? No salt. Just, just, way, just hold off on too much salt in that, please. Thank what, you. What else you got, Robert? Then, I mean, my Dodgers aren't doing too bad. You know, and they're just going along. So we'll see what happens. And even though I don't like the Cardinals, it's a sad day. And, and that's cool. That man, like you said, he's iconic. So, so have a good day, man. Whitey Herzog, yeah, I, I didn't even know. So I like the it the way he goes. What you talked about, Whitey Ball, as far as getting bat on ball, moving runners around, being athletes, I love that style of baseball. I wish you would get back to it a little more. I think we forget Herzog as the manager of the Royals. I think he was the manager when George Brett came up, and they played the same style of baseball with uh, Frank White and Willie Wilson. I mean, they played the same style of ball. Um, Put the ball in play. Big fan of that. Darrell Norman Elvert Herzog. Darrell. Darrell. Dimebag. Or maybe it was Dor- <laughs> <laughs> Or maybe it was Doral. I don't know. D O R R E L. That's Darrell, right? It has to be. It's O-D- not the O D B. That's not got like, it going on. It's yeah. not like, hey, I'm uh, uh my, I forget the, the the original guy's name from the from from uh, the New Heart show. Hey, my brother's Daryl is my other brother Daryl and my other what was the first brother's name? Brother Daryl and my other brother Daryl. But that's probably D A R Y L like Hall or D A R R R E L L. This is Durrell. Durrell Norman Elvert Herzog. Got the Elvis connection in there. 
could be a little bit. Actually, it probably born about the same time. I would go. With, I would go. Would would help. Well, nineteen thirty one. Yeah, I mean, uh, yeah. that's about right. They're probably born around the same same time. I would like to see what Elvis would have been like at ninety two. <laughs> Well, truthfully, like hearing Whitey Herzog died was one of those moments where I almost had to think, all right, I wasn't even quite sure that he was still alive. Get to 94, I think that's probably the case with a lot of folks. And Whitey Bulgers, who I, who I think of when you think of, of, of Whitey Ford. Yeah. There it was, Larry. Andy and Mount Home, thank you. Did you ever watch the Newhart Show? It wasn't the Newhart. It wasn't the Bob Newhart Show. It wasn't called the Newhart Show. It was just called Newhart. And it's, I think it took place in either New Hampshire or Vermont. And he and his wife run a bed and breakfast where they have the three brothers that are like the handymen of the thing. And they would always walk in and it was always the same thing. Hi, my name's Larry. Here's my brother, Daryl, and my, my other brother, Daryl. And the, I think it was the live studio. One, they went crazy anytime they did that. That's the, that's the time in, in sitcoms where you could do this. You could get a heavy set guy with a perm walking into a bar and all he has to say is, hey there, everybody. Norm! And the whole place goes crazy. It's the same thing with Larry and Daryl and my other brother, Daryl. 877 uh, 377 If you want to get on with those calls and texts on the McClarty Daniel hotline. And the C unit walked away and we got somebody on the we phone. Can, we could just go for it. You really well, want to try let's, that? Let's, just, let's go for it. You want to try that? We're uh No, I don't I nah, hung up. See, uh, call back. Uh, we were about to answer. We were about to just put you on. We weren't even going to ask your name. We weren't even going to It's not even you. the golden hour. We were yeah. we were not even going to tell you there were certain words you can't say. We we're just going to throw you on and see what it is you wanted to do. Call back. 877-377-6963. Oh, <laughs> Kevin reminds me of the Newhart show and the way that it ended. I remember this too. Cuz there was the Bob Newhart show where he was married to Suzanne Plachet and did they, did they work on a news program that was like a 70s sitcom in the new heart in new heart the series ended where he woke up in bed with suzanne clichet that he that the whole thing of him owning and running a bed and breakfast was a dream from the new heart show from the bob new heart show it was actually one of the really um clever endings to a show which now that i remember it i think i think curb your enthusiasm has now ended I think they yeah, had the they, last episode. I got to get through the. I haven't even started the the new season. I think he does a lot of uh, the same same thing where he the the one of the jokes from the very first episodes in there, and then Jerry comes and bails him out of jail, and so it's kind of he ties in a little Seinfeld, and then the cameos, the people that come in and be. I mean, it's who who wouldn't want to be on it, and it's 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 not like people that. Uh, you know, it's not like a an A plus actor, but it's it's just people that are in his little circle. Yeah, I, I need to give the last episode of Seinfeld another watch. Mm -hmm. I only watched it, I think I've only watched it twice. I when think it it's a two-part. Two, yeah. It was. I, when it first came out, I watched it. I was in Helena, Montana watching it. it was, I, was, I was working for a minor league team. The season hadn't, hadn't started yet. My roommate and I had no furniture. None. Like 98, was that? Or 90? It was 98. Yeah, 98. I think yeah. it was May of 98. Yeah. We had no furniture. We slept on futons that were on the floor. The good old days. Our, our couch was just a basically a pad <laughs> and we sat on the pad and watched the last episode of Seinfeld and I don't remember hating it like everybody did I don't no. remember I gotta yeah. watch that one again yeah. and see if it's okay yeah Andy's telling me the more you watch the last episode of Seinfeld the better it gets because then you start to realize now just how miserable these people were I was gonna say is Larry David the world's most crankiest comedian he's the most beloved cranky comedian he's got that title He's he's definitely get off my lawn, old man, cranky type, and everybody loves him. Yeah, I don't. Like, I can't think of anybody else that's quite like, like universal. That. Like it seems like if you say that, everybody's like, yeah, I like it, because that's kind of what he would say. Be like, oh, yeah, yeah. He's not even lovable. He's he, like, you want to go eat lunch? Oh, I, 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 I used to say, oh, yeah. <laughs> now now I just say no. But he's oh, yeah, I, I, I. he's not even lovable. I mean, it's just uh, like I would think of uh, of a crank a, a crotchety old comedian like a Henny Youngman. Who would you know? He was the one who probably invented the joke. Take my wife, please. Yeah, he, I probably, take her everywhere. She I follows think, me. Up. Yeah, I think a lot. Of, I think a lot of Dangerfield humor was taken off of Henny Youngman. You know, oh, my wife told me she wanted to go somewhere she'd never been before. I said, I took her to the kitchen. <laughs> I bet you get a free bowl of soup with that. Exactly hat. that one. Um, but yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't picture. Um, 
I'll bet you Larry David would do a really good roast, but it would be the kind that you would really, am I supposed to laugh at that? I don't yeah. Really, I don't, yeah. That, that was actually kind of uh, insulting and I'm okay with it. Oh yeah. And then I actually meant to bring this up before we got into it. This is why I wasn't about to sit here kicking around what it would be like if this, uh, if this other Ballo, seven footer Ballo, Ballo, Ballo. Yeah, yeah, he's committed to Indiana. So, so much for the visit to Arkansas. Now it's an it's a it's a carry state, right? So he's got his money gun, like Indiana. You can carry. <laughs> so, so that's why, right? That was the it's important. That this has been the gamut of the show. In the second, I think it was the second segment, or it might have been the first segment. We see Omar Ballo from Arizona has has canceled his visit to Louisville, and he's going to go visit Arkansas. Oh. Cool. You're going to have two seven footers on this team with Ivisic and Balo. And now here it is. It's the end of the show. And he is committed to Indiana. Got to throw some more Tyson money at him, you know? Too late. Dang it. Whatever money that's in Bloomington, Indiana is being thrown at him right now. John Mellencamp is paying him. Wow. He's going to be the next, he's going to be the next one to be in a Mellencamp song. Although I don't know if I've heard a new one in a while. I think he had a new album a couple of years ago. It wasn't that bad, actually. Yes, George Carlin is my favorite grumpy comedian too, Jody, but he's also my favorite, like, everything. So if you ever want to know why I am the why, the, the why I might be the way that I am, two words, George Carlin. That'll tell you why. All right, time to wrap up halftime. We'll do that in just a moment. This is halftime. Hey, I'm Hagen Smith. As an Arkansas pitcher, I know the importance of precision, skill, and keeping cool under pressure. That's why for your helm, choosing the right team for heating and air is just as important. You want professionals who bring their best game. When it comes to staying comfortable, I rely on Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. They'll send pros to take care of your home, too. Sign up now for Pascal's Plan Protection Membership before the summer heat for only $8.99 a month. Never pay for a tune-up again when they're included in your membership. Professional people, professional service. Pascal Air, Plumbing, and Electric. Do you need an attorney that you can actually speak with? You need Hickey and Hole Law Partners. The attorneys at Hickey and Hole understand the importance of client communication and are taking the time to meet you, respond to emails, and return calls. Every case is important, and they strive to give each one the time and attention it deserves. Call today, 479-434-2414, or visit them online at kevinhickeylaw.com. Hickey and Hole Law Partners, things are about to get better. Get ready to call the Hogs in 2024 and be there for the best home schedule in program history. Don't miss out on all you love about football game days on the Hill. Every voice matters, and we need Razorback Stadium rocking all season long from marquee matchups against Tennessee, LSU, Ole Miss, and longtime rival and new SEC foe, the Texas Longhorns. For more information about Razorback football tickets, visit ArkansasRazorbacks.com. This is Bruce Stanton, Vice President and General Manager of Pradco Fishing in Fort Smith. Our number one volume lure out of our 20 fishing brands is the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. We make them by the millions in our facility in Fort Smith, and the Baby Shad is without a doubt the number one soft plastic crappie lure in the U.S. Fish it on a light jig head or underneath a float, and you'll find it's as productive as live bait. Available at Walmart, Bass Pro Shops, Academy, LureNet.com, and tackle stores all over the place, the Bobby Garland Baby Shad. Brothers Roofing and Restoration, a licensed and insured local roofing contractor in Arkansas. Since his playing days for the Hogs, Brother Alexander has been on rooftops many years as an adjuster and in the past decade as a roofing contractor. He knows how to help you through the insurance process while replacing your roof using only the industry's best materials. And being a lifelong Arkansan, he'll be here to stand behind his workmanship and warranty. Call 479-353-3877 to arrange a time for Brother and his team to inspect your roof. Hi folks, Larry Rath here for Rath Auto Resources and the Meineke Car Care Center where it's spring cleaning time. The lot is blooming with fresh road ready certified inventory and weekly specials that could save you up to four thousand dollars if you're keeping the car you have let us take care of it for you in the mind car care center with half off brakes and buy three get one free on all tires better yet trade the day and save up to four thousand dollars during spring cleaning at rath auto resources and the mighty key car care center where all the happiest drivers are rolling with rath just north of phoenix on towson fort smith 
Barrels and Brews Bottle Shop at the Hub and Chaffee Crossing has everything you need for your favorite activities. Our knowledgeable staff will be glad to help you with the current specials and our new arrivals of must-have bourbons and whiskeys. Hit the cooler for some of the coldest beer in town or choose from our large selection of amazing wines. Order online or call ahead Monday through Saturday from 10 a.m. till 10 p.m. At the Hub in Chaffee Crossing. Barrels and Brews, voted best of the best in Fort Smith. It will put a smile on your face. Are you an angler having trouble finding all the bait, tackle, and more for your fishing needs? Make a wait, bait, and tackle. Now located in Fort Smith next to Wits Marine. On North 11th Street is your place. Make a wait, bait, and tackle. Also has the largest selection of plastics in the River Valley. Reactor Innovation, Bobby Garland, Sue, Mega Bass, and more. Check out the Dial Rod and Reels. Make a wait, bait, and tackle. 803 North 11th Street in Fort Smith. 479-926-9320. Also get your rod and reels repaired. Come see us next to Wits Marine at Make a Wake, bait, and tackle. Your home for every Razorback football, basketball, and baseball game. ESPN 95.3. The cool of the heat when everything is getting kind of grooving. I call you a menace if you'd like to in the halftime live from the Crabtree RV Studios, Crabtree RV Center in Alma, where we make your dreams come true. All right, been a good, uh, been a good one uh, here on halftime today. Uh, Matt, how long you been doing halftime with me? Here? October seventeenth. You have not, not missed the show not yet. That, uh, not that I haven't wasn't counting at first to get our first hundred shows in, but uh, it's October seventeenth of golden 22. golden hour uh, came back from uh, playing my golf trip, and uh, you know last time I, I played golf with Coach Nutt was before that. Well, I wonder how many how many shows that is consecutively. I just wonder if you might be working on a string where you could break John Sterling's record of five thousand sixty consecutive games. That's that's something to go for. Uh, I I think I will have to some somewhere in the next ninety days have to take a few mental health days, so to speak. No, don't break the streak. But it's been uh You're not supposed to mess with a streak. I definitely like yeah, you don't leave the table from a heater, but uh I'm uh You might leave a heater on the table. Man, a very yeah, heater or jeter. You know, what what are you gonna do? But very no, very cool, very thankful to be be working here with you and this has been it's been fun. I just kinda wondered about do it is it, I don't know if I've done anything five thousand and sixty consecutive times other than wake up in the morning and get out of bed. That's it. For Sterling to do five thousand sixty consecutive games and now realize I've I've lost it. It's time for me. I can't do this anymore. <laughs> Instead of play out the string and see that's it and just you know rely on well you know susan and just go from there i don't know the names of the guys that are replacing him but they're replacing him with two people 37 year old and a 24 year old that's 14 years that that's means five, 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 it's 13.6 years for 5,000 days. So yeah, he's that's a that's a long time. You got a way to you got a ways to go before. I you hope meet. I have 5,000 more days left on this this beautiful earth. That's a very that's, good that point. That would be cool. Just make sure that you stay away from some of the stuff on the floor over here. Need a vacuum cleaner. One of those dust bunnies. You know, ours ours come with a. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. You might need a. This, those those aren't dust bunnies. Those are those are frightening monster rabbits. I think down on the floor over there. What I'm seeing. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. I uh, got a 7 o'clock baseball game tonight. Uh, it would usually be a 6 o'clock game or a 6.30 game, but because everything's made for television, 7 o'clock today, 4 o'clock tomorrow. It's cool to be on ESPN, too. I think that's really cool that Baum Walker gets the Tuesday night fun and college baseball fans across the country be tuning in to watch this one tonight. I'm going to put it on the tube. I, I've, I've watched a little bit, but I'll put it on. You got Champions League today, 2 o'clock, Dortmund and Atletico, Barcelona and PSG. Uh, winner go home. There could be extra time in these games because it's the it's the second leg. Uh, so let's go. Let's go get it. Okay, so this is where they're this is where they're making the return trip. You're home and home for your Champions League. Now it's the return trip back home. That's it. That's right. Sounds like real playoffs. It's now it's it's aggregate. It's it's winner go home. Atletico won at home two one over Dortmund. PSG win. 
Barcelona went on the road in Paris and, and beat the best player in the world, Kylian Mbappe, who will be a Real Madrid Galactico next year. Guess what? All those odds will be available on your Bet Sarah's and app. Same with the baseball game tonight. Same with anything else going on in the world of sports. Uh, Apple iPhone, download it from the App Store, Google Play for your Google users, Android users, and BetSarazin.com. Uh, for anybody else, works on any of your uh, any of your web browsers. That's halftime for your Tuesday. The Eastside Liquor Halftime Podcast is coming out very soon. Ruskin and Zach standing by. And then 6.30 tonight, Bubba Carpenter and I on the call for Arkansas and Texas Tech. And then we'll do this all over again tomorrow. Good stuff. Good to be sitting in here with the C unit and with Matt Jones. For those two, I'm Phil. Have a great rest of your Tuesday. That's halftime now. Get up, get out, and get better. Thank you.